Skari here from miniwargaming.com and welcome to another episode of The Lost City, our open sandbox Age of Sigmar narrative campaign designed specifically for our guests. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Constantin here has traveled all the way from Munich, bringing the Ozziarch Bone Reapers, who will be representing the Death Alliance, to fight over the Forgotten Forest in the realm of Ulgu. I will be taking the role of the Defender with my Skaven, representing the Chaos Alliance. And the Skaven have skittered away from their loss within the last game against the Night Haunt. Blistrous Rotfinger, the loathsome rodent of the effluviant mire, the plague priest on his plague furnace. It ran away from the umbral path as they have um, essentially now run into the Forgotten Forest. Now in there he has uh, been able to gather up a bunch of rats. Two more plague priests join his entourage, a warlock engineer that has been called up to um, deal with the warp lightning cannon's power. A gracier has also joined as well, following the path of the horned rat. We have two large blocks of 40 clan rats each. We have two units of five plague sensor bearers and one large block of reinforced plague monks. Five gutter runners have joined the warband as well, sneaking through this, the parts of the forest. Two warp lightning cannons to round out the heavy firepower. As for endless spells, we have our Vermintide, which was one of my favorite endless spells now, and the warp lightning vortex as well. It is all split up into a warlord battalion and a battle regiment. Let's take a look at what the Bone Reapers have brought. Looking at the Ossiarch Bone Reaper force today, we have uh, a, a, a null myriad force led by the soul mason Manaxil Vultaf, uh, a favored or former favored of Arkhan the Black himself, the null myriad being the legion of Arkhan the Black. So in our list today, he of course is as Funnily enough, the only character in this list, um, <laughs> uh, our general, of course. His trait is going to be Dark Acolyte, so the first spell, if the first spell he casts is successful, then it cannot be unbound. Um, and the artifact, yes, he is a soul mason. It's the meme, I know. I am going to take the Bone of the Abyss because... Because. <laughs> that, that, that's all, yeah. So he already knows all the spells um, from the lore, so he's just going to take Flaming Weapon in addition to the spells he knows. Um, and, of course, uh, I have one battalion in this list. It's the Ossier Cohort. Not ideal, because there is going to be three drops in this list, but still. Moving on, uh, let's look at battle line choices. Supporting the Mortis, and we have three Immortus Guard. They're just, you know, no choices there. Next up, we have ten Cavalos Death Riders with spears in one unit. Yes, they're reinforced. Moving on to the little guys. We have... Uh, I'm trying min squads here, so we have four units of ten Morta Guard. Because I'm, again, I'm trying something, so two of them will have spears and two of them will have blades. Non-battle line choices now. We have two unit, uh, two Morgast Archai in one unit, uh, with halberds, as you can see. Rounding on the list, with on actual units, we don't have a harvester, but we do have two Morta Crawlers. Um, they don't do too much damage, but I like them for their ability to mess with the enemy a bit, like just, just uh, annoy them and to cause people to strike last. We have one endless spell in the list, it's the Nightmare Predator. And with the Bone Tithe Nexus as the uh, terrain piece, uh, I mean, it's already standing here, the Bone Reapers have already established a forward position of ascents in this forest. So with that, that's going to be the list. Within the Forgotten Forest, there is rising power. These fonts of power in the area are to wax and wane. You must hold them, but to hold them at the right time will give even greater rewards. We have to be ready to react as the shifting power between the stones goes from one place to another within the Forgotten Forest. So in this game, we've got four objectives. 
At the start of each battle round, after determining which player will take the first turn, the player who takes the second turn will roll the dice, picking one of the three objectives along the middle of the battlefield. And that objective for that battle round will count as two when scoring victory points at the end of each player's turn. Each player will score victory points for holding an objective, controlling two or more objectives, controlling more objectives than their opponent, and two points for their battle tactic every turn. A grand strategy is worth three points. Let's see who will go away with glorious victory within the Forgotten Forest. And here we are, arrayed for battle. Today we're playing in the Forgotten Forest, with a special rule called Lost in the Woods. So before we deployed each of the units in our army, on a one, that unit could not be deployed and must instead show up at the end of your first movement phase, placing it 12 inches away from the enemy territory, more than three from enemy models. Now, you had a few units mm -hmm. lost in the woods. Which were those two units? So we, we had a small unit of uh, the Blade Mortar Guard. So that was kind of funny because usually we have like an array and they're just standing there. So the, the, fr the people in front of them just vanished and there, you know. And, and those Immortus Guard are apparently the worst bodyguard in existence. They just wandered and, <laughs> hey, wait a second, where's Immortus in? Where, where did we go? <laughs> I don't know. Um, in my case, uh, so I also had two units fall victim of the forest. Or maybe it's a secret Skaven plan. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's an ambush. That, that's definitely what they'll claim in the end, definitely. That's right. So <laughs> I had one of my <laughs> warp lightning cannons get lost in the woods, as well as one of my plague priests. Uh, so hopefully they can come in and you know, into a fun part of the table that uh, my opponent doesn't. That you just don't know where it is. Which is going to be really fun. Uh, my gutter runners are in sort of like um, the shadows. They'll be showing up near a terrain piece uh, in my first movement phase. I put a bunch of clan rats. I put my uh, rot finger, the uh, plague monk, on his furnace. I got the engineer and a warp lighting cannon. My gray seer, the plague monks back here. Sensor bearers and sensor bearers is like the screening units. And how did you deploy? Well, um, we have our two catapults back here. Um, kind of sitting, but they're probably going to get moving, uh, get booking it. Um, so since it got a bit finagly, I mean, I was intending to have a bit more on the left here, but uh, since uh, since it's whenever you deploy something, then you roll, so you can't really change much else. So these guys are here and nothing else is over there, so that's great. But because of that, I decided to put the spears down here. We have our one hero, we have the big independent giant brick of cavalry over there, and everything else is just kind of shoved together here. This is really cool. Awesome. A huge shout out to all the companies we work with when doing terrain, uh, as well as check out the Mini Wargaming Forge, the new YouTube channel that Matthew's been doing about 3D printing. So make sure you check that out. Uh, we do a whole variety of cool stuff with a bunch of different companies. So make sure you check them out in the Silver Vault. There's discounts and things like that. So you can always check that out and help bring your table to life. Another thing I just wanted to mention really quickly is we have a realm spell, a command ability, and a heroic action that is for the realm of Ulgu. So the command ability allows you to make one of your units hide. They can't be ranged, uh, targeted with range attacks or spells if they're more than nine inches away from the enemy. We also have a heroic action which allows one of your heroes to become one with the knight and they move fast, they fly. Imagine that on a plague furnace. Ooh, fancy. And then the spell is essentially a teleportation spell. It's, it's a a value of eight and you can uh, pick up a unit wholly within 12 and essentially redeploy it within nine inches uh, away from the enemy. Now you can use these in addition to any of your other heroic actions and spells and if you want to follow along with the rules of the campaign you can check them out at miniwargaming.com slash the lost city or check the link in the description. So with that you would finish deploying first. Would you like yes. to go first or would you like me to go first? I need to prepare myself a bit better because, um, I mean, ranks unbroken by descent, but I'm sensing some impurities over there. <laughs> um, so I need to correct some stuff. So I think I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go first. Okay, going first. And with that, it's Bone Reaper's turn, number one. Well, you get a whole bunch of command points. Yes. So how many do you have now? Eight? 
Uh, currently have eight, yeah, because um, we're seven or more units currently on the field, so we get plus six because we're Bone Reapers and we're really strategically adept. And you get, so you should have nine, because you get plus one because your faction realm gives you have seven, plus two, plus one. Right, so you have course. nine in total. Mm, I'm going to have three um, command points as we get started, and now we'll pick our battle tactics and we'll get going. Now, because I went second, I do have to roll. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that will be worth two points for this battle round. So five, six, that one is worth extra points. Interesting. Very nice. What is your battle tactic today? Right, so um, it's from the regular ones, because none of the others really apply. Um, seize the center. So this here is right the center of the battlefield. So I need to have more models within six of that than you. And it's at the end of the turn, which is the only time it'll probably ever happen. Um, I do have lots of rats. Future. Indeed, yep. Yeah. And I only have uh, some uh, bone golems right now. I mean, most are on the table, but still. Um, Eventually, they will come to play. Hopefully. Which is fun. Heroic action? Yeah, so um, I'm, since it's my turn, I'm definitely going to use the free one on the hero I have. So he's going to wreathe himself in darkness. I mean, he's a Plus master. two move and yeah, yeah exactly. flies. Cool, right. that's awesome. Um, as for my heroic action, how many spells can you cast? So, um, since he's a two base, and there's the free one from yep. the realm, uh, and then because of the throne on a two up, he can cast potentially one or d3 more. Yeah, so, so from three to... Around three to... Three to, to, three to, three to, three to six. Okay. Yeah, roughly. So I have one, two, three dispels right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my Plague Furnace um, a heroic willpower to give me an additional unbind as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and also at the start of the command phase use the hide. Um, I'm going to hide my uh, mm -hmm. warp lightning cannon with right, my yeah. free with the free uh, command point. Mm -hmm. um, that's of the realm of Ulgu. The the cannon cannot be targeted with ranged attacks unless you're within nine inches of it, which should keep it alive until it blows itself up, which will be very fun. <laughs> <laughs> I what mean, about for the you? both of us. Um, yeah, I'm definitely also going to use hide. Um, for heroic actions, though, which is also at the start of the uh, battle round, um, since that was the free one, I'll just roll for the command point, because that's the only yep. thing I can currently do. Yeah, that makes sense. Speech? No. No speech today. He doesn't need, he does not need you, to inspire Are you himself. hiding anyone? Yes, potentially even multiple things. Um, so there is one, one you can do it for free. Wait, no, you can't do the same command more than one. Sorry, Bone Reaper habit, you can't. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Not no. that one you can't. <laughs> sorry, no. Any one of your units can be hidden. Right. Um, the, the Immortus Guard will show up this turn, but that means I can't target them. The character might be in danger. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna put it on... Mm, probably gonna put it on the character. Okay, so he doesn't get warp lightning to death. That's probably a good idea. And with that, we're onto some spells. So, um, first spell of potentially many. So, um, since there's a warp lightning cannon over there and potentially another one, um, we're gonna go for reinforced constructs. That's an easy one um, to start off of. So yep. that's a four up mortal wound protection, essentially. I like it. <laughs> Right, goes since off that is on an eight. Since that is successful, because of Dark Acolyte, you cannot unbind this one. But okay. the next ones you will. Nice. So you get to pick who? Who are you picking? Right. I'm thinking I want the catapult to be annoying and move it up and not die immediately. So I will put it on the catapult. The Makes. monster crawler. Awesome. So, next one is going to be the Realm spell, because it's for free, uh, because it's free and we might as well. So uh, this will be the teleport. It goes off on an eight. There's no bonuses here. No. Does not go off. So, uh, next one, I should have done it first, but well, shucks. Um, uh, it's Soul Release, so that's an interesting one. Basically, you can put a set of any reserve units wholly within 12 inches of it, or anywhere within 12 inches of him, if it goes off, but it's on a five. So let's see, that's an eight. Oh, very nice. I will attempt to stop it, mm -hmm. and I'll use my heroic willpower, getting a plus one. Ooh, it does go off. All right. So you get to pick a spot. No. So around him. Cool. Right, so now he has a 12-inch bubble. I can't bring in my reserves within 12. Okay, mm -hmm. sad, sad. If I was lost in the woods and close to him, I would be very, very sad. Mm -hmm. uh, right, on a two-up, exactly. And now his chair. Uh, well, it's technically at the end of the movement phase, so I would... Um, but, but let's just roll it now. Oh, is it? Okay, well, let's do movement. No, it's at the end of the movement phase. No, no, so. not in the... Uh, sorry, at the end of the hero phase. So I might... Uh, I'm just thinking, are there any command abilities in the hero phase? That are, no, there are... No. Nope. Not any. Just straight any. up. Yeah, right. So end, end of the end of the hero phase then. Go, Mr. Chairman. Two up. Uh, nice. Yeah, that works. 
There he goes. He gets what? D3? Um, no, that, that is one on a six oh, is okay. D3. Okay. So um, he'll just cast his inherent spell, which is just a plus one to wound on a nice. Mortec Guard or Cavalos. I'll put it on the cap. The Cavalos are within 20, holy within 24, I'm pretty sure. Yep, they are. So I'm just going to. Well, let's try it. It's yep. on a six. Very nice. Uh, no, it doesn't even go off. Okay, so with that, nothing else happens. We'll dive in, we'll come back after the movement phase. Uh, we did forget the big thing. Uh, who are you gonna pick to slow down? Yeah, so the choice is between the big thing, which is kind of slow, and the clan rats are probably more of a threat, but you can't run and charge, can you? Nope. Um, well, let's just slow down the big Chungus unit here in the front. Big rants on a yeah. four plus. On a four plus because nothing died, so let's see. Oh, they yeah. are slowed by the miasma from the big Ozark Bone Reaper thingy. The We're punish- in the middle of the movement phase, we'll show you where everything else shows up. You've essentially used some command points to move up quickly. You have the two catapults coming up. You've got two units of Mortec Guard coming up this way. You've got your first reserve unit ready to bodyguard after they got lost in the forest. And then you've decided to overload this flank with fast moving, heavy hitting units. And you have one more unit to put down. We'll see where yep. that end up, ends up going. And that last unit has decided to follow up. Apparently it was a little patrol that they sent into the forest that has finally made it back to the main army. So let's dive into the shooting phase. You've got a couple of catapults Indeed. and let's see what they do. So that catapult yep. just into in a, this big block of clan rats. Yep, just I, a volley of regular um, necrotic skulls. This these time. are four shots at? Uh, three, three, minus one, two. Okay, I will, uh, I will make them uh, all out defend them with a command point. All right. So they will get their regular save. So let's see. On a three. Not spending anything else. Ooh. Okay. Very nice. Look at that. That's an interesting start. And then on threes. Two. Okay. So they do have a five up. Plus one four. Minus one fives. And that would be four dead clan rats as they just go. <laughs> an ability whenever they shoot something and put everything in it they have a uh, so it's usually when whatever they hit on a five up it's gets strikes last okay but we'll roll it now see if it matters mm -hmm. because it could matter it happens until your next hero phase yeah i guess so because so, if if then if then i double turned you it might matter right so it just depends on or is it until the end i of think it's turn? at the end of the turn only oh, okay. in that case well it's but, good to remember yeah. so roll it see if it happens we'll yeah. get into the habit of rolling it right so because i put everything in there it's on a three up now Ooh. No, okay. Okay, they're not fight first. I mean, fight last. Ha ha, take that. So, um, this one also in a critic skulls into the other clan. I right can't uh, all out defend them. So, right. I wish I had another one. Three do, do we spin a command point to hit on twos? I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, whatever you um, want. Sure, you know what? Why you have not? a million so command points. So. so, all out attack in that case. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's from the general there within 18. Holy within 18, he would have to be. Yeah, yeah. Just. So, he might just be outside so oh yeah okay. he's definitely not elite we're okay. not gonna bother okay. then okay threes and threes then oh okay two hits and threes two wounds these are sixes nope that's four clan rats dead from this unit <laughs> and on a five up might as well roll it now so we get into sure. the habit of rolling it yeah they would have fight lost Ooh, until the end of this turn. So great way to kind of like soften up a target before you charge in. That's going to be really neat as we move on to the next turn. So that's the end of your shooting phase and the end of your first turn. Both of my clan rat units are wholly within 13 of the plague furnace, so they are immune to battle shock. And then at the end of the battle shock phase, each clan rat unit gains D3 models back. Nice. So we're going to go with this unit, gains one back, and this unit they gain one back as well. So one just stands back up. And then you successfully completed your battle tactic. I have a one models. guy and it compares to zero. <laughs> you hold one, two, this one counts as two, three, four, five. So you definitely hold more than me. You hold one and you hold two for a five point turn for the Ozark Bone Reapers as we move in to Skaven turn number one. Oz, uh, well, no. Skaven turn. So what do I want to do here? I need to move up, I need to kill some stuff. Um, yeah, let's go, this'll be fun. That's worth two objectives, so you have three just by holding those. So I can't really hold more, which is very interesting. Like I could hold two and that's it, or I could hold two and that's it. So let's kind of do some spells and things like that and we'll happen. So my uh, battle tactic this turn is also going to be um, take the middle, I believe. 
All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that now before like my hordes of guys die. So hopefully get that out of the way. Just gonna just stuff a bunch of stuff on the middle objective. Um, then my heroic action. So, um, well, my command ability, I'm going to hide my unit of plague monks. Yeah. So we're gonna hide the plague monks, I think. When does it last until? End of... It lasts until... Hold on. Um... Oh, it doesn't wait until your next hero phase. This hero gets plus two to his movement character. No, that's the that's the other one. So actually, hiding something doesn't matter for me right now, unless you could like unleash hell or something, but or do something like that. So it doesn't matter for me. Do you want to hide anyone? It um, has to be done now. Right. Um, considering that, um, either the character or these Mortec guard, though I'm more concerned, the Mortec guard can probably take one shot if I, since it's an attack, I could uh, do the um, uh, close ranks and give them a five-up ward against it, so I will do it on the character himself. Yeah, you don't want him to get sniped. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. You don't want a couple of lightning cannons to shoot him. That, you're perfectly viable for me. I think that works. So my heroic action is going to go uh, be um, the shadow knight thingy one which is gonna make my or uh, embrace the shadow I will put it on my big guy I think I'll give it plus two move and uh, mm -hmm. well, maybe this one maybe that one or maybe this one I don't know I'll put it on this plague plague monk whatever he's gonna fly and it gets better uh, that's my free heroic action my other heroic action is gonna be a heroic leadership I'm gonna do that on my um, sh uh, seer nope no speeches from the seer about your heroic action. How many spells do you currently have? You have at least two. I have the three right now. Three right now. Well, I have mm -hmm. two unbinds, and I wouldn't mind a third. Um, so, so heroic action will be. Well, I don't have to recover anything, um, and um, he, he's already. He's on a chair. Doesn't he want to do a speech of some sort? <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> he's raising his staff, and he's already wreathed in shadows. He's already wreathed in so, shadows. So you know, so. yeah, we're just, we're just gonna try for a. <laughs> he's also hidden. <laughs> oh no, nope, nobody could see him because he's hidden, so yeah. they don't know that that speech is happening. <laughs> uh, you do get a command point. I get a command point. I have three to now to your six or seven. Um, Six. Okay, <clears throat> and with that, let's do some spells. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some chanting. We're gonna do the um, built-in enchantment from this Plague Priest, which is uh, a six-up ward save to a unit. So I do get plus two to this, one and two. Uh, so I'm gonna give a six-up ward to the big unit of clan rats up front. Sounds good. Then we're gonna go ahead and cast his, which is Rabid Ravage. And that goes on a, he gets plus one to his chance, so that's four, five, six, so he enacts a great plague! <laughs> so from, uh, for the rest of the game, my priests will re-roll their enchanting rolls. Makes sense. Because that's the best one, in my opinion. I really like that enchantment ability. Uh, let's do some spells now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my vortex, um, He's gonna go ahead and do his, uh, actually no, he's gonna go ahead and try and cast the Rat Swarm. <laughs> okay, sure. Rat Swarm! Ooh, that's a 12 plus one, that's a 13. Can you stop, yeah. can you stop at 13? Um, I mean, <laughs> you let, can, me, let me count. Uh, no, no, okay. <laughs> yes, Rat Swarm, yeah! Well, that's, they're gonna go over here, and then the rats will move, it is predatory, so it'll move after uh, the hero phase, or at the end of the hero phase. So, now we do my Grace here. So, two spells for my Grace here. First one's gonna be the Realm spell, so trying to teleport something. So I need an eight, I do get plus one though, because I'm near a mm -hmm. thingy. So no. <laughs> well. um, now I'm gonna try Skitter Leap, which will also teleport, potentially, but this one needs, I believe, a six. I get plus one. <sighs> Can I mean, you stop that? Uh, I mean, you're, you know, you're, you're, <laughs> you spare me the choice, so thank you. Skitter Leap! <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally just gonna teleport him. He's gonna go and like, Commit like rat death. Uh, so he's gonna teleport up here. Let's see what happens. Well, there you go. He's nine inches away. Okay, now he's gonna eat a stone that uh, once per turn he can eat like a, a, a warp stony thing. I get to roll three dice for his cast. Add and if I roll thirteen or higher, add it together. You cannot unbind it. Right. Um, and then he takes mortals, I think, as well, if something bad happens. But I'll check that out later. I'm just excited to roll this. I'm gonna try and cast a Warp Lightning Vortex. 
it goes off and it cannot be unbound. <laughs> and because it's 13 or more, you add the dice together. Yeah, lightning! <laughs> okay, your faction rule, as long as you're wholly within nine inches of, a ca of that character, yeah, the more you the ignore way. spell effects on a two plus. Okay, Generally. that's good to know. So yeah, the rat absolutely. swarm's gonna go this way to move block them. Right. And then my, my seer is actually going to teleport this way because I'm going to put my vort lighting vortex over yes. this side. Okay, that's it. Let's bring in this warp lightning vortex. It's lightning time. Uh, so I get plus two on this one, plus one, plus one, because they're within range of at least one other. Yep. And on an unmodified six is D6 mortal. So it goes off now at the, uh, as soon as the spell goes off, and at the end of the movement phase, I had to put the first one within range, wholly within range, and then the other's exactly seven inches away, creating like a cool little triangle of death. Um, okay, let's do this, uh, let's do this cannon. Sure. It's gonna get plus one. No, it's on a four plus, right? So nothing there. Uh, the other guys over there, they will get hit, and they take two mortal wounds. Warding them, are those wounds on a six? Nope. Okay. As two gun. That's right. And then we're going to go ahead and do this on plus two. That is a four up. So they take two mortal wounds as well. Let's see if they can prevail. Oh, one of them. One more. Okay. So they double the casualties there. And then uh, I think that's it. So he did two spells. I did one spell over there. We did my prayers. Nice. So let's get into the movement phase here. Oh, well, end of the hero phase. I get to move my rat swarm. But I think my rat swarm is just going to kind of scoot up here. All it's going to do is make it like impossible for those horses to really kind of go past this way unless you uh, it dispel the rats, just to protect my big block of rats myself. And with that, we'll come back off to the moving phase. I get to bring in my uh, gutter runners, my other warp lightning cannon, and my other plague priest as well. End of the movement phase. So I decided to be very careful and uh, like a Skaven should, very sneaky. I pre prevented any enemy redeploys by staying outside of nine, but putting enough models onto that objective to hold it and to get my battle tactic. I ended up the cannon and the priest that were lost got deployed in my uh, zone uh, outside of uh, Holy Within 12, uh, just getting in range to do some shooting. This unit of clan rats has moved up to hold that objective there. And then these plague uh, sensor bearers have just kind of scooted up to zone out this backboard. And then I have one unit of plague sensor bearers on this corner. And their job is to bait the cavalry to come into a corner and do nothing for three turns. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't think they take the bait, to be honest. But you never know. <laughs> okay, so with that, uh, we're going to do my lightning cannon, my lightning storm again. Yeah. Quite this so. is like... This is so fun. Okay, let's do them. They get plus two. Uh, so that's D3 mortals on them for one. Nice. It's a tame lightning storm today. Well, it's, uh, yep, definitely. Okay. Uh, so they don't get plus two anymore. So there's just on a four plus. They do. They will take D3 as well for one again. Okay, yeah. It's, it's the calm before the storm, maybe. <laughs> yep, one more there. And then into this, uh, oh, my gutter runners came over here. Check them out. Yeah. They're really, they're on the flank being all sneaky. Like. You couldn't even see them. Oh, I know. That's right. I even forgot about them. No. Nope. Like, uh, even with a plus one, that, uh, okay, lightning storm, come on, come on, lightning storm, what are you doing? I'm also making sure I'm out of six inches of my lightning storm while still being in range of the objective, because I don't want to get zapped by my own lightning storm. Uh, now we get to do some shooting. This is the fun part of what I do. And I actually brought an engineer this time, which means my lightning cannons get to overcharge, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> Let's see how many shooting phases they Let's have. see how fast they die. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this lightning cannon. Going to shoot at that unit. Okay. Uh, I am going to overcharge it. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm definitely going to close their ranks. They're going to hold up their shields and cower, but they're, <laughs> they're trying not to show it. Okay, that's a command point there. And Quint. my power level, because I brought an engineer, is two. No! Oh, yeah! No! <laughs> <laughs> so sure. I get to roll 12 dice. I need to beat twos or mores to do mortals, but ones I do damage to myself. <laughs> okay, lightning cannon. Zap. You haven't even granted me the courtesy of one mortal wound. <laughs> well, 12 Amazing. mortal wounds into your unit of now eight strong. However, they did close ranks. 
So that is 12. Oh, you are in every list from now on. I love you, engineer. Well, that's twice. It's 12 <laughs> five awards to oh, make Oh my sure. goodness gracious, that was fantastic. I mean, the averages say there's two remaining. Yep. We'll see yep. about that. Yep. So, pass no, two. Definitely Ten not. mortal wounds. Yeah. Sure. Zap. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, ah, yeah. silly lightning cannons. Well, yeah, Skaven stuff. Mmm, yummy. Okay, lightning cannon number two. Okay, okay, that's fun. So this uh, next lightning cannon is going to shoot at that unit of infantry. Sure. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead. Let's keep the train rolling. Let's see what the power level is for this one. Five, okay. Okay, okay. not as okay. good as last time. <laughs> but <laughs> So now fives and sixes will do mortals to you. All not hope is not lost. Plus. You can still, there's still very much the chance to delete a unit. Oh, okay. I only did one, but I did do, wow, look at that roll. <laughs> Six mortal wounds to your unit. Yes, yes. You can go ahead and roll those. Yeah, you know what, I'll just... Yeah. Six ups on these? Um, or did you want to spend the command point on five? I, I will spend the command point as well. Okay. I have a lot, and it's, yep. it's the end of the battle round. So yep. that's Ooh, two save. Four go down from the lightning cannon, and then he takes D three mortal wounds for two mortal wounds because of the lightning. <laughs> he pulled a couple of the command models, but you can always like bring them back to life or whatever. Yeah, hopefully. There's six models left in that unit, so it's pretty much going to be a full strength uh, next turn. Well, that was fun. Okay, let's see what the gutter runners do. What was that? <laughs> what was it now? Was it fun? Okay, yeah, great. No, we're having fun, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, uh, the rules dictate what's fun, okay? It, exactly, no. Uh, they're going to shoot at this unit of troops. Right. Uh, um, they have three shots each with their little throwing stars, which is really cool. And they get plus, I am going to go ahead and spend um, a command point to all out attack them. So the rats are elite, so they can order themselves to all out attack. Yep. So they're hitting on threes, wounding on fours, but six is to hit to a mortal, and you will close ranks. Yes, we will close our ranks. Uh, it seems like the uh, Skaven have forced you to uh, you use a lot of command points, but it's the end of the battle round, so. Yeah. 15 attacks from these gutter runners. That's a five model unit. Has more <laughs> shots than a 10 unit of like night runners. That is crazy. These gutter runners are go probably gonna make it in every single one of my lists from now on. Okay, threes to hit. Oh, no mortals. Boo. Okay, and four wound. No rend on these. Just four saves. Nothing crazy. Four up going into a five up then. Uh, no rend. Oh yeah, right, so that's why they have a four oh, up. Oh yes, yes, yes. Four so up. four up and then a five up uh, ward save. Let's see if their ranks are tight enough. Oh, okay, four one. I got one. One little ninja star. Oh yeah! Yo. The engineer does have a nine inch range pistol, uh, but that's about it. So with that, I think Bone Reapers don't suffer from um, no. battle shock. At, at least they have that. If they are not immune to uh, warp lightning, however, but they are immune to cowering. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. So I am going to go ahead and do uh, end of the battle shock phase. I get to bring clan rats back. So D3 from that unit, they get the entire unit back. D3 from that unit, they get two back. So they're one away from full again. So that's that. So at the end of my turn, I do hold one, two, three. However, I am unable to hold more because that counts as two this entire battle round. So I'm actually one point under as we finish the first Skaven turn. And with that, we move on to battle round number two. Poor Blaine Can has taken two wounds. Just can't forget that. That was this one right here, sorry. No, that was this one, yeah. Priority roll. Big priority roll? Um, I mean, I'd say so. I mean, w w whenever there's warp lightning cannons in play, it's usually an interesting, uh, an interesting situation. Oh man, they, uh, I, last game against the Night Haunt, I built them into my list and didn't take an engineer. So they were just oh. like the tamest warp lightning cannons you've ever seen in your life. I love that the first shot that I took with an engineer was mega shot. A perfect 12 model. <laughs> perfect. I know, it's like delete unit. Okay, awesome. Okay. So will Rotfinger himself lead the assault against Nagash's forces or will you be able to consolidate the first turn and fight the rats in the middle of the misty forest? I rolled. Ooh. Okay. So you're leaving me with... On a six, you can hold it. So you're leaving me with the uh, tactical choice to roll a six. No. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Plan roll yes, sixes de definitely, yes. is afoot. And Nagash says... Oh, no. okay. so close. Well, the rats will 100% take the initiative as we move into rat turn number two. Now, 
You do have the second turn, so now you get to roll to see which objective counts as double. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see how this goes. One, two. two. Uh, it's that one around. counts as double. Oh, the tables have turned as oh, the boy. power wanes in the forest and it has shifted its paradigm once again. So start of the hero phase, you are going to, going to hide someone. Yeah, so, I mean, because of the threat range of the, of the catapults and you can move stuff, um, or you, yeah. Um, he has to hide himself again, because otherwise he's just going to be zapped off the board. Yeah, let's go Skaven. It's clickety clackety Skaven. Um, okay, so the Skaven, you're going to hide. I could hide someone, but it doesn't actually matter in this hero phase. For me, do you want to unbind any of my endless spells before we do anything? Mm. Um, let me have a think. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to dispel the rat swarm for now. I'm going to keep the vortex. I think it's, it's, it's you know, it's so beautiful. It, it fits into the scenery so nicely, you know. So. <laughs> the rat swarm, however, I mean, maybe you... It's could rats! Do, how We how could do with a little less rats. I okay. Mean, like, I'm just saying. Do you stop the rats? Let's see, on a seven or something like that. No, no, it's less than that. Uh, the rats go no. away. Bloop. I can't bring them back. I'm going to go ahead and pray. Let's go ahead and do plus one to wound from this uh, caster over here. Plus one to wound. Oh, look, a great plague is enacted, but I'm not going to do any great plagues right now because nothing is close enough. Um, then, so that, that's going to go plus one to wound on this big unit over here. Then I'm going to go for a six up ward save on the big unit. That also enacts a great plague. Good job. <laughs> and I'm going to go for plus one attack from the furnace. That also goes off as well, and it'll go. So plus one to wound, plus one attack on the big unit of uh, rats. And uh, that's it. So as for spells, I'm going to go ahead and do a mystic shield uh, from that engineer. And it goes off on a 5-6, thanks to the uh, vortex over here. Would you like to... Dispel no, it. I'll leave that. Okay, you have th some more. That'll go on the rats. So they'll have Mystic Shield on. And then we go on to the Seer as well. So he will go ahead and do a Skitter Leap. That goes, you can't stop that. No, 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 no. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I'm going to see what his other spell range is. He might actually just teleport himself over here to cast a spell and then use the the little gnaw hole at the end of the moving phase to go over here. So we'll see. We'll see what he does. He's going to be a sneaky seer. When I cast my big spell, I did get another 13. He actually takes D3 mortal wounds. So he's taken two mortal wounds, which I cannot unbind, I dispel in any way. He's taken two, so my heroic action is going to be a heroic recovery on him. And he passes it, and he regains all his wounds back. Command point? Well, I mean, probably, since I can just use the Wreath and Shadow one for free on my turn. Yep. Uh, well, you have ten command points right now. True. So You know, try for an eleventh one. Yep. Ugh. No, he's nope. really not, he's he, really he's not, not into he's it. He's hiding. He's hi he can't do speeches while he's wreathed in shadow. All right, so he's going to go up here and just go within 13 inches of those Oziark Bone Reaper guys, because he's going to zap you and then run away again. <laughs> sure, why not? I really forgot to roll for my Warpstone tokens. So I get two plus three, so I have five Warpstone tokens. I already ate one to give him 3d6 cast, so that goes down to four. He's going to go ahead and cast it again to go down to three. <laughs> I needed a seven to do a wither. And it uh, goes off on an eight as well. So I have to roll 2d6, and if I roll over your toughness, you take d3 mortal wounds. All right. Wound characteristic, right? Uh, hmm? Oh, sorry, it's 2d6, I have to beat your wounds characteristic, which I did. Right. And so your d3 mortal wounds and minus one to hit in combat. Mm -hmm. You take one mortal wound. Let's see. Uh, yes. Okay, one more goes down as he withers away. And now we go into the movement phase. Okay, so I, because you took my rat swarm away, I have to be really careful, because if you move up and then you double turn, you're just gonna get in my face with a bunch of cavalry. So I need to create my screens, set it all up, and just get ready to essentially weather a double turn if it comes down to that, which is exciting. Rats, let's go forward. And hopefully one of these blows up, because it'd be really fun. It's shooting time! Well, look at the movement. I decided to bubble everybody 13 inches around my priests and my big furnacey guy and everything just to make sure that I get some uh, good little uh, abilities and uh, my prayers and stuff can go off and all that stuff. 
I did move them a little bit further back. And they just kind of shuffled into the corner, trying to stay as far away from those horses as possible, waiting for the cavalry to pass. While the gutter runners have decided to start slinking forward to potentially charge into this catapult and uh, mm -hmm. bring it down or do some damage to it, depending. But they're going to just harass the flank. So with that, that's right, you know it, it's Warp Lightning Cannon time. So I'm going to start with the non-wounded Warp Lightning Cannon that was a boss last turn. I will once again overcharge its fuel cells, and I will be targeting that unit that is in the middle here. Good. Would you be bringing their ranks together? Oh yeah, absolutely. I okay, mean, so that's one try. of your like 10 command points, excellent. And the power level is... Five. Okay, okay. You know, not, not as good as it was last time. But then again, it is Skaven technology. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And 12 dice. Ooh, you only take two, but no damage to myself. That's pretty impressive. This is very well built. <laughs> Unlike, <laughs> is this even a Skaven cannon? I have we no wonder, idea. Or is it stolen? Oh, uh, end of the movement phase, sorry. So roll your two, but I do have to roll for the lightning vortex. That's so, ooh, I got, I killed two of them, nice. I'm gonna roll for the Vortin Cannon, so they get plus two to the roll. Ooh, a natural six. That's D6 mortal wounds to that unit. Bzow! <laughs> Go lightning! So yeah, that's uh, that. six damage into them on sixes. Yo. Oh, five of them go down as they get zapped okay. by okay. the vortex. Very cool. And then into your catapult, uh, just D3. Catapult takes two. Yes. Okay, and he's taken two. Okay. Mm, one more. Yeah, very nicely done. You got the banner and the champion so that you can still issue them orders as well. Okay, you know what? Um, so he's taken two wounds, so mm -hmm. that means he's down to, what, six left? So I'm going to go ahead and do all the gutter runners into this last two strong unit. Would you like to uh, close their ranks up? One. Well, two, you do mortal three. wounds on six to hit, right? Yes. On six three, to hit. Four. Five? Yeah. I will definitely runners. try to keep them alive. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, I will use one of my two command points to all out attack them because they're elites. So they will hit on threes here. Six is two mortals. Four mortal wounds okay. just right off the bat. Okay, gutter runners. They're doing some work here. We roll can just it. roll those. Yeah, roll it, see that. if it matters. See if I have to roll the wound roll here. So I'll have to roll three fives here. That's right. The... No, okay. Oh, yep, the gutter runners go ninja stars. Well, that opens up my last cannon over here. Uh, let me see the range. And it, it's the Skaven thing to do, overcharging this Warp Lightning Cannon into them. Um, I only have four wounds left on that Warp Lightning Cannon. Well, he's taken two damage. So, power level is... Oh, five, okay. Okay. Okay, Warp Lightning Cannon. This one is not as well built as the other one. I mean, they're fairly sturdy, like surprisingly sturdy, those well, two. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, no. That's 3d3 mortals, <laughs> but he has done four mortal wounds to you. Well, let's see if they survive. I need at least yep. one five up. Yep. Come on, we can do one, right? Okay. Two. Cool. Okay, so two of them go down, almost get the entire squad. However, that warp blinding cannon suffers one d3 for one, another d3 for three, and that should kill it. So the eight wounds, it has two wounds remaining. Last d3. Ah, oh, it's gonna die. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> was that dead? I don't think it explodes. Maybe too scary. Yeah, that, well, luckily it did explode. It just killed itself as it blew itself up. Awesome. That's what I wanted to see last game. That's the Skaven that I know. Okay. Don't forget to downvote for Skari. There you go. Um, <laughs> and that is it for my shooting phase. Oh, I really was really hoping to kill them, but now they're going to like regenerate and be annoying. Uh, but that's okay. So with that, let's go into the charge phase and my Skaven. I'm assuming this has a minimum range. Yeah, a six inch. Okay. So holy within, you'll be good. Yeah, just so I do, you do to prevent that. So they're going to try charging. Mm -hmm. My gutter runners go seven inches. Seven inches does base you. Book, 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 book. Go, gutter runners. This is the first time using these gutter runners, and I must say, I really, really like them. <laughs> They're like really expensive for rats, but they've been really cool. Uh, actually, let's make sure they go this way. I don't want to end within lightning range. 
I'm gonna have to <laughs> pile in away from lightning range. I gotcha, that makes sense. And in the fight phase, we're gonna go ahead and just pile them in here. And they're just gonna make sure they can fight you. Go gutter runners. I'm not going to use any uh, command abilities on them because you have 10 wounds left on it. So that makes sense. Well, gutter runners, threes to hit, threes to wound, sixes to hit, do mortals. One mortal. And then threes to wound at rend one. So I'd be one mortal and three at rend one. All right. So let's just try the regular save. You're minus one, you said. Yep. So it's a five up now. All right. And then four more save to make. Ooh, nicely done. Takes two more damage, down to eight wounds remaining. So the wounds, uh, the, the crew, I mean, climbs down and clobbers them with hammers and, and shovels. <laughs> Literal shovels, it's on the model. So threes. They hit on threes? Yeah, I mean, look. What? They're, they're, it, it, only the best parts of the souls <laughs> are taken. Oh, they only want a force, though. So okay, two. so two. They have a five up save? What is this madness? Five ups. Ah, two go down. Two little gut runs. Arr, dead. One, two. There we go. And just make sure, actually, let's kill him so that I just make sure I'm not within range of that. And that is the end of my turn. Um, they did lose two. I wonder what their bravery is. Well, they're only bravery five. Well, that makes sense for rats. Yeah. And they lost two. So I am going to roll. Okay. Four, five, six. So one does scuttle away into the darkness, but enough to hold you in combat, at least for a turn. And with that, it is the end of my turn. I do hold one. Two, three, four objectives, and I totally forgot what my battle tactic was gonna be, which is gonna be kill something in your deployment zone, because I had to either kill that unit or that unit, um, but that unit died. Okay, so that'll be kill something wholly in deployment zone, check, and hold two, hold one, hold more, check for a five point turn, bringing my total up to nine as we move into Bone Reaper turn number two. So at the start of the hero phase, I am going to go ahead and hide those gutter runners. Ha! Okay, absolutely, <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> so you can't target them with shooting. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, yeah, okay, okay that works, that works. Um, okay, so now you do your battle tactic. What is your battle tactic going right. to be? Um, so, I'm still thinking about having them be dead because I have some choices, because I can't shoot them, but I still have some options to so they're standing next to this thing, and they're just thinking, you know, it's just a, it's, it's just a pile. It's just a pile. <laughs> but the head is turning over. Oh no! And looking at them. So I'm just gonna go to, go for the. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go for the battle tactic that I uh, where I have to kill a unit. Uh, it's in, in your territory. Partially or wholly, yeah. Nice. So either I kill them now, or he just stays in combat and hopes for the best. Yep. But I mean, yeah. I have some I have some options to move around and support them a bit if I if I choose to without necessarily shooting them. So um, that also uh, at the start of the hero phase. Um, oh, I'm gonna do the heroic action. Uh, he's gonna wreathe himself in shadow again. Yep. Um, and then the head is gonna turn and it's gonna look the punishment of agony. So stuff died within 12 inches of him. So it's on a three up. Very they take nice. D3 mortal wounds. Ooh, very cool. Okay. Yes. Oh, they do D3 okay. mortal wounds. So we need to roll a three up. A three up now. You two. Oh, yes, yes. Right, under the D3. D3. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Duh. Uh, yes! Uh, they wither and die. Ah! <laughs> Just leave the life. Okay. Ah, oh, sad, gotta runners. <laughs> well, that got your battle tactic. Sad. Okay, uh, then we've got spells and other command stuff. Yes. So, um, since there's still not really something else I can do, um, might as well try for another command point. I'm, I'm really trying to get something else going here, but I can't pick anything else right now. So, a four up. Nope, you just, you know what, let's just, let's just stop <laughs> using that. <Let's> just <laughs> and my heroic action, by the way, is going to be a um, heroic uh, inspired, oh, not, not an inspired, it's going to be, you know what, will it be an inspired? Potentially. No, I've got two command points, I don't need more than two command points. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, a uh, heroic willpower on my priest. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four uh, unbinds. Okay, spell That's times. Good. Yes, the spells. So, um, I am. I need to do some planning in my head. So, first thing you're gonna try. Yeah, phase one. This is a multi-stage plan and it could fail at any time. So, uh, let's see if this actually succeeds. So, I'm gonna try the Umbral spell, the Olgu spell to, to, tele to teleport something. Uh, it just goes off in an eight. It does. And I cannot unbind it. Because True. it's your first spell. Mm -hmm. Okay, Indeed. so you just teleport him. Yeah. 
So you decided to teleport the Mortis Guard up. Yeah. And okay, so they go from back there to up here. Okay, so next spell, your second spell. Second spell. I'm still gonna go for the Nightmare Predator. I like it. Does it the Nightmare Predator come out? Six. Okay, on a six, I need a six. So I'm gonna use my Grace here back there. And he gets a seven, eight. Good. So no Nightmare Predator today. And then your chair. My, the chair. Two up or six up. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I'm gonna boost the wound roll of the cavalry. Nice. How far do you have to be? Holy within? Holy within 24. Okay, so they, you're they good. Are yeah. that. That's a yes. six. Okay, Grace here again. Needs to roll a six. He says, uh uh, uh no boost to you. And with that, it is the end of the hero phase. So we go into the unless no unless you've got like come no on, actually to heal um, and stuff he did the free spell and then one and the chair technically at the end oh so okay we figured okay. out the second spell sorry already. then do the second spell oh, definitely um, warp lightning cannon if it's not going to go off the table this turn then I might as well boost the defensiveness on something four up feel no pains on someone exactly with for the four up wards wounds. sorry four up wards yeah I'm mixing my Two game nomenclature over here. <laughs> okay, drain vitality is yes. next. Next one. So, uh, I mean, let's see if we get it off. It's on yep. a six. That's Ooh, a nine. that's a nine. I need to roll a nine. I'll use my heroic willpower. Ooh, another two. Wow, that's, <laughs> no, that's pretty good. No spells for you. you <laughs> wow, my dice are on fire for that. Okay, so with that, now we're at the end of the hero phase. So we move on to the movement phase. Unless, we'll see, if you want to heal any more guys, we'll do that or whatever, because you got command points and stuff for that. But uh, with that, we will come back after the movement phase. End of the movement phase. What did you do here? Right, so um, I moved stuff forward. Again, this was a, a slight uh, change in plans, the Immortus Guard, so they're kind of stuck there, but I mean, that's fine. We kind of consolidated our forces, um, uh, brought the Morgas here just in case you do skitter, because you have access to two teleportation spells, uh, that happening is kind of likely, so I put them here just to... Ha ha if you teleport something there, you'll have more guys to deal with. So, you know, that's kind of nice. Uh, the flank rushes forward. They're still just barely within range of the terrain feature if I don't make the charge. Um, the rest just consolidated into the middle. He moved slightly forward. Now, the ca now this crawler is within range of that objective. He'll just gonna dance with, within the warp lighting for now. I mean, maybe he'll die to it, but hopefully not immediately. Um, so, uh, I'm just gonna do one healing. Uh, because they don't have the champion anymore, because I was concerned of rages, ranges before, it's just going to be one renit constructs on them. So yep. that's one command point spent, and D3, three of them return. Nice, that's half a squad back. So then we have the two cat. Oh, uh, I have to roll. I get plus two here yep. on your catapult. Ooh, that's definitely not enough. Plop, nothing Ooh. happens. That catapult there, shooting into these clan rats. Yep, but I think I am going to go for the 2d6 shot, so I'm gonna uh, throw a cauldron of torment at you. Is it any rend? No, it's no rend. Okay. So, they're within 18 though, so um, I can do that. In that case, uh, it's 2d6 shots. Well, that was to be expected. <laughs> Three shots. So, um, <laughs> threes to hit, threes to wound, I guess, so. Uh, we had two hits. Two hits, yep. And on threes. Two wounds. Two wounds, no Ren, so four ups on the clan rats. They're okay. Okay. Because they are mystic shielded right but now. But because they were targeted by the attack. On a five up? Still on, no, on a three up because I put all attacks into them. Ooh, it's plus cool. two to the roll in that case. Nice. So I'm hoping for this three. That was the main reason I shot it. Yes. Very cool. And the next catapult. Yes, this catapult, since they are slowed down, I'm trying to whittle down the Plague Monks because they don't have quite the same regeneration as the other guys. So they're all within 24, so I will shoot necrotic, throw Necrotic Skulls into the Plague Monks. Nice. Hitting them on threes. Three hit. And on threes. These are end one. Indeed. Cool. So four Plague Monks will go down. Brah! As they have taken a hit. On to the charge phase now. Where are you charging? We start with the Cavalos Death Riders for sure. It. How far do they go? Class one from their banner. So. Seven, eight. That will make the charge possible. Well, they've decided to come in. Very nice. And uh, my Warp Lighting Cannon is going to go ahead and unleash hell. And I'm going to overcharge it. Nice. Impact hits first. So seven dice because of the unmodified result. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Uh, on each five, we do... Th 
Three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. They do have their ward save since being blessed. So six up wards. Nope. Three little rats. Rawr! And I'm going to kill the ones that make that a nine inch charge to make that a little bit of a harder charge. Sure. Okay, Warp Lightning Cannon. I do spend one of my two command points that I have remaining. Mm -hmm. I'm going to overcharge it to power level. Ah. Uh. <laughs> to power level. Ah. Uh. It spent might all just its... blow myself up. It spent all its juice. <laughs> it did. It's like, wait, wait, we're still reloading. We're still reloading. I <laughs> uh, do one mortal wound and I take. Uh, three mortal wounds. Okay, so I have three mortal wounds. Take I take three. You take one. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that. No, oh, no. not even one. <laughs> ah, that's scaveny. If I ever saw something amazing. <laughs> Bring your Morgas guard in, or are you gonna keep them bodyguarding your start. commander? I can't protect the commander from ranged. I can also protect other units from range, but that's kind of the priority. So I will just roll. Okay. And then, although mm, Mortec guard first. They uh, they advance, so they can't do anything. True. Yep. Yeah. So Immortus Guard. Nope. Nope. Okay. CP reroll or no. No. Okay. So with that, we've got horses fighting rats coming right up. They have piled in. Now they have a really cool rule. They get to pile in six inches. Are you using any command points on them? Yeah, I'm always attacking them for sure. Nice. Okay. And what's their rent? Although no, actually. Um, instead of all of the attack, I will bludgeon them instead. So that will increase their ren by one. So what is their ren normally? So n normally ren minus one on the lances, no on the, none on the, on the horses. Now it's minus one, minus two respectively. Okay, and I will go ahead and all out defend the rats with their mystic shield that will help negate your rens. So with that, lots of attacks. We have all 10 riders that can swing because they have a two inch range and nine of the horses will be swinging into my rats. So here we have first 18 attacks from the horses. Yep, there are threes and fours now. I don't know why they keep switching it around, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> do they do they auto wound on sixes with their crazy blades? No, no, no. The, the extra hits are just on the netherite stuff. Oh, okay. The so, hor horses are netherite. Okay. They, well, you never know. They could be cool netherite horses. No, that's... Okay, there we go. And wounding on? Fours. Nice. Okay, a couple of uh, damages there. I'll just pick these up, make it a lot. And fours, thanks to the plus one. And that one damage each. Mm -hmm. Six up wards. Oh, three more rats go down. One, two, three, dead the rats. Blah, blah. One, two, three. Rats, rats, dead, dead. Half of the attacks first. Right, so this is 31 attacks because of three each, and the champion has one. So this is 16 uh, nice. on fours because they're spears. Uh, it's better because you have the plus two to save, mm. but you know, we could have, should have thought faster. Um, but uh, four, four is to wound then. Yep. Uh, three. Three saves? Good. Okay. So three saves at Ren 2 offsets my Mystic Shield and All Out Defense. Yes. Which means I get a five up save. And are they multiple damage? No, just one. Okay. Six up award. Oh, almost. Two more rats go down and then the second volley. One, so. two. So. Okay. Next volley. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good so. thing I dispelled that minus one to wound on them. Ooh, cavalry yeah. in the forest would have been very dangerous. Okay, pretty good. Fours. Uh, fours, so five up saves. Uh, one, and then ward saves. Ooh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> so three go down. Blip! Nice. That's it for them, so now I get to pile in and attack as well. Hmm, let's see. Now, you already got your battle tactic. You're getting a couple of... I need to basically try and put as many moles on that objective as possible to offset your ab capacity to hold that objective. And uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with my Big Bell guy. Let's go, Big Bell! I mean, uh, furnace dude. The big Plague Sensor on a 2+, plus is going to do D3 plus 4 mortal wounds. That is, it hits you, and it does six mortal wounds to the unit. And that's the only thing that has a three inch range. <laughs> so, okay, sure. So that's it. Okay, I did five damage. That's one horse in a bit. How many wounds do they have each? Three each. Three each, okay. So yeah. one horse and one takes some damage. Then the rats will pile in and fight. 12 rats are in, or 24 rats are in range. I did get the plus one attack, plus one to wound um, prayers off as well. So this is the first half, and then I have to add a dice for the sergeant. They are hitting on fours. Mm, kill, kill, murder, murder, murder. Nice. And these need threes. So, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And we add in one more. Six so far. Ah, fours. And fours. And threes. Ooh, six, ten. Eighteen in total. And there we go, eighteen four-up saves. Ooh, nice roll. Hmm. And the ward saves. Ooh, oh, wow. Beautiful okay, well, roll. Well, that yeah. kills their four wins each, you said? No, three wins each. So they definitely wins. finished off one uh, and killed one and was another. Okay, very cool. He goes down. And this guy. Hill goes down too. Very nice. Kill, kill. Murder, murder, kill, kill. And one guy cool. is wounded. Very neat. There we go. So that's it for the rats. So now it is the end of the Battleshock phase. You don't care about Battleshock. I don't care about Battleshock within 13 of my furnace. So D3 of the clan rats come back. Two clan rats come back. Skitter, skitter. The rats were able to hold the middle of the table. But with that though, you did successfully get your battle tactic. You do hold one and two. However, you do not hold more. So you have tied the game. Nine points to nine points as we move into battle round number three. Well, okay, seems like the rat horde is just pushing through. You've committed your heavy cavalry, but you still have plenty of damage potential in the reserve units. And you have one unit of guard that is slowly regenerating back to full health as they re-knit themselves with evil death magic. Cool. But with that, it is the initiative roll. Now, do you want to win this initiative roll? Um... I mean, yes, but for the so, if you didn't have that lightning cannon, then I'd consider it. But with that lightning cannon, <laughs> I mean, it, it might have sputtered in the in the over, in the essential Overwatch, like in the in the Unleash Hell, but um, it might not be the case next time. It might time. not sputter again, is what yes. I'm saying. Yeah. So <laughs> I want to take it down. I want at least a shot at it. So I, I would it. like to go first. Okay. So with that, it is Skaven. Ooh, I well, think. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Are I, you gonna? You're not even gonna dignify me with a roll. I'm, I'm gonna strategically choose um, not to, <laughs> not to be able to take the initiative. The Skaven will now go and take their third turn. Uh, we forgot to rally them last turn because there was two. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna rally them. Yeah, just just some extra ones or yeah. sixes potentially. Okay, so well. one extra dude comes back. Nice. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and. Use my, uh, my cool artifact, the Brass Orb, and he's gonna toss it on them. And on a three plus, <laughs> they're gonna remove this unit. I'm so excited to try this. Ah, oh, come on. Brass Orb says, yes. yes. Bye bye. <laughs> you can take we them off the table. That's right. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> and now at the end of this turn, you get to put them back. They can still be in your territory, more than nine away from any of my units. Like it's not terrible, but what it does is it frees up my whole center our part of the yes. army now, which I'm really excited about. Yes, good job, Bretts. Good job. Well, that was fun. Um, so my command, my battle trait is going to be pick something, an enemy thing, and then kill it, I think. And I think I'm going to try and kill... Well, actually, before that happens, are you hiding anything? Yes, um, because you can, because the lightning cannons do not require any sort of hit roll whatsoever. <laughs> um, I'm, still, I'm still forcing you to focus on my units, which yeah, you can so protect not a the, better. Not your here. general, basically. Yes, it makes he's, sense. He's, yeah, but it's, it, it, it probably still uh, hinder him from speaking in any sort of sense or inspiring in that sense, but we'll see. Yep, so I'm gonna go for my battle tactic this turn is I want to have three prayers answered by Clan Pestilence priests. So if I get my three prayers like answered this turn, I will successfully complete my battle tactic. That's a Skaven specific one. My heroic action will be a uh, heroic leadership on my Plague Furnace. Nope. And you have your heroic action. Mm -hmm. Are you doing another command point? Um, I mean, I guess I kind of have to since I already. Yeah, because the the the, 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 the hiding thing it still lasts because it's not my next hero. Yep. So yeah. Uh, yep. No, he just doesn't want to do any of those things. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wreath my um, big furnace in shadow. So I'm gonna wreath my furnace in shadow and. Uh, 
they're gonna it's gonna move extra and fly and be all cool okay and uh, I am gonna spend one of my two command points on a rally to bring a bunch of rats back I have nine rats that have died in that unit I bring a, a rat back you have ten command points which is a lot of command points uh, now we have some spells to cast so I'm gonna go ahead and cast plus one to wound from him back here uh, it goes off. It goes off on a six, but I'm too far away for a Great Plague. I'm going to go plus one to wound on the big unit. Then we go plus... Uh, he does a mortal woundy spell. Uh, prayer, sorry. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and do a bless just to give a six up ward save. And that's plus three to that roll. So it successfully goes off as well. And then we've got big guy. He's going to go ahead and do plus one attack on the giant block of, uh, of uh, spearmen. And it doesn't, but he does re-roll because of my other Great Plague. So that goes off. He gets plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. He also enacts a Great Plague. He's going to let leash the Undulant Scourge on the Mortec Guard. So I roll one dice for each model in the unit on a four plus. They take a Mortal Wound. And he will do six Mortal Wounds to that unit with the Great Plague. Good thing you don't have like a big block of 20 of them or something. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some of the lightning cannons uh, victims were still That is alive. true, yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> oh Ooh, boy! What is that roll? Um, Only okay. two go you down. You cannot... Um, <laughs> disease? <laughs> disease would hold on bones? What are you thinking, man? <laughs> so two go down. Man, that was a great uh, ward save roll. What a fantastic ward save. So with that, let's do some spells. I'm going to go ahead and summon the rat swarm. Let's go. He's actually going to be summoned by him, I think. Yeah, no, by him. By him? Yeah. Rat swarm. Rat swarm. Na 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 na. Goes off on a seven plus one because he's within six. An eight. I think I will try to unbind that. Okay, stop the little rat swarm. Uh, no. no. The little rat swarm survives and comes into play again. Skitter, skitter, skitter. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah, that's clickety, what I thought. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Grace here is gonna cast a mystic shield. It goes off on a eight again. No, we'll let that go through. Okay, so we'll just go on the big plague furnace. Mm -hmm. And then he's got one more cast plus the teleport spell. So he's going to teleport. He's going to cast the teleport, I think. No, he's going to cast Skitter Leap on himself. Okay. Okay? Yep. Actually, no. He's going to cast the big teleport on himself. Yes. It goes off on a nine. Hmm. Hmm. So... On himself again. I mean, you wouldn't have well, to declare I, I could, yeah. it. So right now it's just any unit. Would any hold unit, himself. holy within 12, mm. gets to be teleported. Yeah, let's stop those shenanigans. Okay. Might as well. Before you jump out of range or something. So. <laughs> uh, no, definitely nope. not. Uh, no, uh, definitely not. Okay, so he's going to go this way. Boop. And he's going to teleport himself around here somewhere. Okay. Like so. Ta-da! And then he's going to get within range of these little dudes. Holy within range. And now he's going to cast Skitter Leap. And he casts it on a <laughs> 11. Yep. So then he's going to teleport these guys Boop. <laughs> up this way. Yeah. <laughs> My trap is sprung, apparently. Um, and that's, uh, that's all he can cast. Yeah. So good stuff. That's all I've got for my hero phase. Now we go into the movement phase. So end of the hero phase, I am moving uh, the rat swarm. They are not wholly with a nine of him. So no, they can be affected, yeah. They okay. just have a five of warning. So six ups as the rats charge in and do a single mortal wound. Good job, little rats. Good job. I mean, they are flying fairly high up. I mean, they're difficult to reach for the rats. Fine. So, you know. <laughs> Out of five of them. Hooray! Oh, yes. Go, little rats. The rat tower. Bite their ankles. <laughs> Get them. End of the movement phase. So I decided to also use the gnaw hole to bring in my plague monks on this flank. Just starting to threaten the two home objectives over here. While my horde of rats and my plague furnace have just kind of stayed in the middle of the table here. I'm going to try and do some damage with the warp lightning cannon to the big catapult. However, it's got what, eight wounds left? Eight wounds. Yeah, I, so uh, it's unlikely for me to kill you unless he rolls really, really well again. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, let's have some fun. It is rat time. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make this thing awesome. Yes. And uh, let's see how powerful it is. It is going to shoot at that uh, catapult. Oh, uh, that's just well, 12 mortal wounds. Yep. I guess I do have to roll them though, right? 
Because just ones, to see how many ones you get. Yeah. yeah, just to see how many ones <laughs> I get. But that is like instantly incredible. And I take, oh, 3d3. I've taken three so far. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blam! Well. <laughs> I souped up. Dead. Okay. And then roll your 12 ward saves. The best kind of problems with those are that solve themselves, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even have to roll to see on a 4 plus you take d3 as well from that. You take one. So add an extra dice in there. Okay. Yep. And then just add that in that from the warp sixes. lightning. So I have to like 4 or 5 here. Let's do Yeah. Oops. Uh -huh. You did roll like 4 out of 6 last time. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely possible. Absolutely. I don't no. think today. No. Well, that thing just got lightninged to death, but the lightning, <laughs> the war lightning cannon killed itself. So good times, good times all around for everybody involved. Uh, and put a little comment down in the chat that says Skaven. Yeah, Skaven goodness. That's literally the most Skaven thing in all, <laughs> in all of existence. Uh, awesome. Okay, that's it for shooting. Let's do some comments. Okay, I'm gonna go with the uh, Plague Sensor Bearers. They're gonna charge in. Let's see how far they need a nine to get in. That is not a nine. My Gracier will issue a reroll command mm -hmm. with a command point. Oh, they don't make it. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to get these Plague Monks in as well. And they don't, oh, they might get a plus one actually. So they do get plus one thanks to the little musician and they, so an eight did make it. I was able to get into charge range and uh, get in with them, which is really exciting. So I am gonna go ahead. I'm not going to charge in the middle here because I want to be able to rally, bring rats back, just be annoying and just kind of force you to deal with them on my terms. And they're just gonna pile in and do they have something? No, just, um, I'm just checking. Uh, you did manage to get wholly within six inches there. Oh, okay. So I so cannot no, use the catapult, unfortunately. Very cool. So that they will pile nice. in. Totally, yes, totally planned and intended. <laughs> <laughs> so their range reach, I believe, would be, I think it's two right now because of the fact that I have um, uh, 10 or more models or whatever, but I'll, I'll check. It might just be one. So I might only be able to fight in two ranks here. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do at the end of the charge phase. Yes. Um, the, the, the Bone Reapers have counterattack, which again is at the end of the uh, charge phase, so you can still put other stuff on there. So I'll just put it on both of these units, since it's an OCR command. Uh, he will issue it to him, and uh, the Hakatos, which is now back, will issue it on the uh, unit itself. So they will get plus one to wound against the Plague Monks. Very cool. And I will go for an all-out attack on the Plague Monks mm -hmm. as well. And they do have two-inch reach right now, because there's ten for every ten models. Uh, they get plus one inch to their range, which is really awesome. Then I will, th I think I'll put an all just regular all-out defense on them in this case. Okay, so that's three of your bunch of command points that you've just spent, and I spent my last command point because I did try and reroll that charge. But each of these, because they charge gets, um, I'm losing, I'm missing four, so that's sixteen times three. Nice. Just attacking your guard with everything. All right. 16 three times. Uh, hitting on threes normally, but I did all out attack him. So hitting on twos. Six is to hit or rend two. Okay, so one rend two so far. And these are on fours. Oh, wow. What? So that's 10 so far. And nothing. So 10 so far. Second volley time. This is without any prayers on them either. Well, they get really silly with prayers. So three that are at rend two, uh, one rend two, and one, two, three, four, five more at rend nothing. Now add one for the little sergeant guy. Nice. Wait, no, I don't think he had guessed this one attack. The 16 here on twos. Okay, nice. Some eight rend two ones on fours. Ooh, that's three at rend two there. And he's on fours. Oh, wow. These guys are on <laughs> fire today. That's eight more normal attacks. Wow. <laughs> so how many in total was that? So we have 23 normal attacks and four at Ren 2. Nice. Good sure. job, Plague yeah, Monks. Yeah, Good right. job. <laughs> yeah, just a, just, a, just a shy of 30 wounds. <laughs> okay, four Ren 2s. Before we grab a, a bucket of dice, let's just do the four Ren 1s. So <laughs> five of saves because three, okay, I mean, that one. One goes through. Uh, let's just do the ward now. Yep. Just six of ward, 
Nope. No. One will go down. There are four remaining, no, five remaining in the unit. And now with an all out defense, they do have a three plus save, but it's 23 that they have to roll. So you never know. You always want to roll it because you could roll really hot and then just love the day that that happens. And then you remember it for the rest of your days. <laughs> so there's 19 dice and then we'll roll four more over here. Ooh. So on threes. Look at that, 19, only five and then four more. Okay, so that's seven in total. And then ward saves. Could very well go down. Probably go down. Unless we'll you roll see. like the horses did. No, they no. will go down. Okay. So the plague bugs come in on the flank and wipe out the Mortec guard that was trying to hide from the wrath of the Skaven. And that is the end of my combat. So your little cannibal gets to fight. You're going to all out attack? <laughs> no. Nah, That's I mean, another command point? I mean, there, there is a point at which you just pum pummeling, bludgeoning t shirts is, <laughs> you know, I don't know about that. So, yeah, uh, spend another one all out attack. He hasn't received one this phase. It's, it was only the Mortec Guard. So, it's six attacks on twos and threes now. Ooh, very nice. Look at that. So, the most dangerous catapults <laughs> in all of the land. They're trained. Uh, How are they, like, fighting? Oh, they're like the a whole unit of dudes fighting. It's fantastic. Oh, four. four. Okay. Four? Well, there we go. Get six ups though, because you didn't bludgeon. Indeed. Nice. It mattered. Look it did. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three go down. But those plague monks have successfully held this flank or started pushing into the flank surrounding the enemy. Also, only bravery like five. So. Okay. That's eight. I think three more are just gonna be like, yeah, run! <laughs> Flee! <laughs> Actually, can't be him for coherency purposes. It can be him, though. So, okay, fair enough, you know. My big clan rat unit to come back. Clickety, clickety, clickety. They're just gonna, sure. Yay, more rats. Well, that was a decent turn. I got my three prayers off in my battle tactic. Oh, we didn't roll. Do you want to roll to see which one was worth two? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's go just ahead. Yeah. Um, one, one, two, two three, four, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Whoop. One, it's two. Still that, one. that one again. So, I do hold one, two, three. Four, five objectives. Nice. So I will get hold, hold two, hold more, and my battle tactic for five points, bringing me up to 14 points. And with that, let's dive into your turn, number three. At the end of my turn, actually, the horses come back <laughs> from being orbed away. <laughs> they have to be wholly within the enemy territory, and they also have to be uh, more than nine inches away from me, but they seize an opportunity and from the orb come back and are now sort of like ready to push up this flank to give the Skaven a, dow a little bit of their own medicine, which is going to be a fun time. So you don't have any shooting, so I don't need to hide anyone. Um, I'm going to, I guess, wreath him in shadow again. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, which is free, so I'm just going to do that now. Yeah. Um, and then your... Battle tactic is going to be? Yes, so it's going to be conquer. So I have to take an objective that you control away from you this turn. And which will that be? Um, the choice, either this one or that one. Mm -hmm. um, I feel kind of since they are, I mean, some of them are in range, but I feel kind of better about this one. So it'll be this one. Yep. But remember the priority is still this one. So I definitely intend to take that one as well. We'll, we'll see how that works out. So you're going to take that one? Uh, no, 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 no. For the battle tactic, it'll be the left okay, one. Okay, so taking that one, that one's worth two, so you're hoping to try and take that one yes. as well. So battle tactic, and what's your um, curb, your heroic action? Right. So, I mean, he's going to wreathe himself in shadow again, which means he won't be, wouldn't phone talk still. I mean, that's the pattern here. <laughs> you should talk and yeah. then wreathe in shadow. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's try that. Okay. Sure. Talk first? Talk first. Oh, no. Nope. Apparently okay. it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead as well with a command a point. Come on, plague priest, rot finger. No, he didn't uh, didn't get a really cool uh, speech off. Let so. me just check if he's constructed with him. Okay, no, he has a mouth. Okay, no. he does. You know, maybe he just doesn't have vocal cords or any way of making noise. He just like, you know, he just kind of draws stuff on a piece of paper and says, or little yeah. his little spirits, you know, do all the talking for him. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. like a tag telepathically. Right. Yeah. Uh, so now we do some spells. Starting with a nightmare predator. Let's try it again. We have like a nice it. line here. So let's see. Uh, we just need a five. Well, it doesn't happen. So no Nightmare Predator. Well, that's not your free one. So you have one more plus the free one potentially plus your chair. Yeah. So the free one. Let's try the Umbral uh, spell again. Teleport. Um, 
Yeah, let's just try if we get it off on an eight. That Ooh, will work. That's a eight. I still have one, two, three. Oh no, he's all the way over here. So I only have one. So that's okay. You can teleport something all if right. you want. I will pick the Mortec Guard. Nice. I'm gonna pick the catapult. Yeah, and get it out of uh, combat. That's a smart play, being able to shoot stuff. I like it. Ciao. There they go. Being really sneaky. Catapult has teleported. The catapult has teleported into my territory. Oh no. Sneaky little catapult. Um, okay, and then we've got one more spell on a two plus, and then you've got your big thing over here as well to go. Indeed. So catapult, I mean uh, chair. Chair, chair, chair. Yeah, chair, let's roll chair. for the chair, even though it's at the end of the combat phase. But just to get it out of the way, on a, oh, that's, the, that's D three times. Very nice, how many? Two. That's two. Very cool. So that'll go on the Mortic Guard, although you can still dispel it if you want. I have one, yes. Well. But you still have to roll to see if it goes off first. Oh yeah, of course. No, I'm <laughs> sorry, absolutely. So, uh, try it once. Uh, is this is the, the mortal wound protection? Is that what it is? No, this is the plus one to wound for uh, the uh, niterite weapons. Uh, this okay. is from the chicken. Can it go on them too? No, it can't. Ah, uh, okay. So I will try and stop you. You rolled a seven, so I need to roll a seven. And I don't. You get your plus one to wound right. on the Mortec Guard. Very nice. Indeed. Flaming weapon. Yeah, screw it. We, we, we're gonna go. We're going <laughs> in. Flaming weapon. Here we go. Eight. It goes off. His weapon is now flaming. Oh no. Dangerous for a death model. <laughs> and now this uh, thing gets to do some Indeed. stuff as well. A punishment. Yeah. So on a four plus, you're gonna give them minus one to be to hit because yes. of the punishment. The punishment of agony. But let's try. It's on a four up. It nope. does not happen. So, end of the hero phase. Let's go into the movement phase. We'll come back after you have moved. Rats! Nice. They're going to do something like this. Stay within an inch of the Mortec Guard. And I will roll 13 dice into it. Because that's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Needing sixes. Let's go, rats! Ooh, two mortal wounds. Nice. Well, in that case... Um... Moon saves? Well, no, uh, because uh, they're holy within nine of the um, of the mortison. They're not holy within. Nine. Oh yeah, so you're doing one uh, on the correct. Meat. Absolutely, uh, so two five ups. Two five ups then. You take a mortal. You were able to run the mortec guard back because that's part of your grand strategy. The Morgast have moved up this way, and then of course you kind of shuffled around the rats, but because you ignored the effects of spells on the two plus, they just don't care about the magical rats. Uh, however, you were able to, with the speed, move around and away from the Vortex, which is really good for you. But being close to these rats, they will use my one command point to redeploy an inch. Uh, no, he heroic recovered, so he was oh, fine. That's right. So he gets to shoot now. He has five wounds, right? I believe so. Okay. Let's go for the fun play. <laughs> you could have Look at this thing. Him. Look at this thing. This is yep. called a cursed steel. It's a big. Oh, yes, thank you. It's, it's a big brick of stone with heavy curses on it. Ah, oh, don't curse me with your stones. Well, I mean, it might just smoosh you, so we'll see. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna shoot at him. I love it. So it's one shot on a two on a three. Nice. Okay. Hits. Wounds. Yes, minus Friends. two. Okay, let me check. Well, it's gonna, it goes straight through, which does mean it is a three plus D3 damage. Will my Gracier fall to the catapult that teleported? <laughs> smush, <laughs> smush or no smush? So uh, on, a, is, on a three? Oh! He, you got him! <laughs> ah, dead man. What an unfortunate turn of events. Gracier smushed by curse rocks. Well, that's about right. <laughs> that was awesome. Time to do some charges now. Yes. Let's start with the more guests. Okay. Need is very important. Yeah. Good. They get in. Nom, 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 nom. Here they come, charging in, getting some damage. Gotta love it. Big guy with the chair. Yeah. Soul Mason, go next. Here goes seven. seven. Just tucking in. Nice. Here. Cool. There he goes. Yeah, just like that. And then the uh, Mortis Guard are going to follow suit. Nice. They do. Oh, that should do it. Very cool. Uh, six. <laughs> Nicely done. Actually, they're at two inch range, so I might as well put them like this. I like it. Over here, you do need a three to get in, even with your plus one. Yes, I'm not going to use the wedge. Uh, flying over stuff is not going to help me this time, so I'm going to save it in case I need to reroll. So. Uh, which I just barely do not. <laughs> you do need but to reroll. But I will, yeah, I will still, re I mean, yeah, I, I will reroll it just, um, yeah. Because I want this objective. Oh, so, okay, that so. makes sense. You want to try getting there. 
Yeah, That's make it in with a six. Here they come. Assuming there they go. Just getting ready to come in. Wanted to try take the two point objective. So trying to put as many models on there as possible. Hard to do against a horde of rats, but that's still true. pretty decent. And that's a command point there? Yes. Okay. Okay, there we go. Fights. Do they get to fight first or something? Or is that only if they roll really high? Oh, yeah, no. I, they did not roll an eight. So okay. uh, they do not get their scary So you get to pick stuff. someone to fight, and then I get to pick someone to fight as well. Since that is your battle tactic, you're gonna attack the Plague Monks first. Yes. All out attack. You still have four command points, because why not? Sure, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you gotta use them all. Yeah. So, t uh, six attacks, twos and threes. Okay. Very nice. Is that six attacks each? Uh, no, three attacks uh, okay, uh, per. Okay. Yeah. They're big halberds for threes now. Yeah, two, two, rend two. Rend two, three damage. Three damage, so you just kill nine, nice. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So there's one left. That's okay. But then they're just gonna. I don't have enough command points to rally. I don't know if you can rally around Morgas, but or whatever. But they do mortal wounds when they die. So nine, and then on sixes, I believe I do mortal wounds. Is sixes or ones? So it's with the standard bearer they get it. So he will be the last one to die technically here. On sixes, you take mortals. One mortal wound. Do their, does their uh, ebon rod armor shield it? Uh, yes. Yes, they don't care. Oh no, poor little plague. Well, they did their job though, disrupting your battle plans. Well, I'm gonna attack with my super boosted unit of clan rats. Let's go. So I'm gonna do seven into the Mortar Guard and then 26 of them into your leader because of the three inch reach, yes. which is awesome. Okay, so hitting on fours and they have plus uh, one attack each because of the plagues. And they get plus one to wound, so they wound on threes. This isn't your Mortec Guard, which you did um, all out defense, is that right? Mortis. No, 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 I, uh, I, that is on the Mortisan. So oh, the Immortus oh. are just, they're base three. So six saves on the big guys with shields. Immortus, regular saves. Uh, one goes through. On a six. Yep. Oh. And they're okay. I mean, he takes a wound. They don't get the five up ward, it's just them that get the five up ward. Yes. Yes. Okay. 26 twice, and then I add in the one from the sergeant. So hitting on fours. So it's this many twice. Fours to hit. Threes to wound. Nice. Okay, so that's seven, six so far. Bring in one for the sergeant, and then on four, that's fours again. That was not a roll. Cool. And on threes. Come on, rats. Ah. Ah. Seven. That's quite a few. So 10, 15, 18 in total. Take the saves first before you allocate. Indy, the okay. regular. Yeah, but he does have three ups. Right, because you have no rend and uh, the yep. all of defense in this case. I like so it. 15 on threes. 18, it was 18 in total. Uh, 18 on threes. There cool. we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that so, he will take. Yes. So these seven, the Immortus Guard will always step in. It is un inevitable. I do have no choice here. Oh, really? They yeah. have to step so in. So okay. on each two up, the Immortus <laughs> take it, but because it's, this is the ward situation, they can take another ward instead. So okay. um, in addition, I mean, so... Um, so they will take seven of the damage. In, yeah. So that will... That will kill off two and wound another. How many wounds do they have each? Oh, wait, he Five, only suffered right? one, sorry. Yes. So he will take the remaining four, and then four. he will take another three. Yeah, so he has two remaining, essentially. Good, so I did kill one of the Mortis Guard, but your commander, your general, is still very much alive. We move on to the far flank where the horses are gonna fight rats. Oh, yeah, there we go. They're gonna charge in, so you get uh, two horses that can't fight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got five horses and seven guys. You are going to bludgeon with them. Very, very cool. So, five horses on three. All they right. hit better, eh? Nice. And wounding. Fours. One rend on these? Yes. So sixes. These are one damage. That's four rats that go down. One, two, three, four. Four rats. Blip. Seven of the horses attacking. Yeah. Now this, the Naderite spear is in Fours and case. fours? Yeah, fours and fours. With exploding sixes. Exactly. That's not terrible. And fours to wound. Yes. Here we go. 
Okay, so that's five saves? Mm, six saves. Like Seven? Six saves. Mm -hmm. Six saves at Ren 2. Yes. Six go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've killed a bunch of rats. Blah, dead. But I redeployed them to be nicely within 13 of my Plague Furnace. Right. Uh, now I get to fight as well. Got the impact hits on them, so we're gonna roll it real quick. So um, it was a it was a seven. So yep. unmodified it's a six. So uh, each five up. Nothing. Okay. See? Okay. No impact hits. Dice as they were a little woozy from getting bottled. It yeah. was like oh, there. <laughs> there is only there. I mean. <laughs> okay, so now uh, they're gonna fight. Sure, let's go. They're not as boosted up as the last squad was. Thirty rats remain here. So thirty-one attacks. Here you go, force. So many attacks. I'll say, as a Skaven player, I'm loving this, uh, the three inch reach on the unit. It's so good. I just get to fight with everyone. It's fantastic. And then Forrest to wound you with no rend here. You did go ahead and bludgeon me, so it doesn't mean I get, uh, oh, that's not terrible at all. That's actually pretty good. Look at that. Strength in numbers indeed. Five, ten, fifteen saves. Four ups. Can the thick bone armor hold? Oh, decent amount. And you've got some ward saves in there to make as well. So on sixes. Okay, uh, not bad. So one had already taken one wound. So he'll be he'll be gone. Then another one, and then one is wounded. Okay, so two die and one takes a wound. All right, so two dead, one takes a wound, and I made sure that with my pylons I wasn't within six inches of my lightning vortex, as it's literally just crackling away in the corner. And now your big guys with halberds get to fight. Yes. Okay, this is the uh, this is the money right here. Yeah, Immortus Guard um, just gonna, they have two in reach, so he's just gonna do something like this, yep. and that's good. So, um, six attacks. That looks pretty good. And two, uh, do you have netherite weapons? Yes. So two extras, not bad. Wounding on? On threes. Ooh, very cool. That's five. five. What's their rend? Mine is two. Okay, so that just goes straight through since I don't have an all that defend. That'll Dead. kill 10 rats just instantly. Once per game, they can attack twice if they want. Are you going to use that ability? I think so. If I can reduce this, um Clan red unit a lot this turn, then maybe that'll actually make a dent in them. So we'll, we'll try. Yeah, okay. Um, might as well. So uh, yeah, they will attack again immediately. So that's uh, six attacks. Yep. All right. And in uh, netherite, you get an extra hit in there. Yes. Three to wound. Threes. Very nice. Right, four. So eight more go down. Okay, so I was able to kill enough. He can potentially pile in, but if he does, he'll have to fight. The furnace. Okay. I, yep. Okay. Let's You're gonna come fight. Well, I mean, might as well. I like it. That's the spirit. What's his name? Do you remember his name? Yes, it's Manaxiv Ultaf. You know, he he's, he's, he has a mission. He, he wants to get to the city, and he won't just let random randomly teleporting Skaven just stop him in that duty. So yeah, I absolutely. Love it. <laughs> so he's going to clobber you with his staff first. Okay, and he's got a flaming weapon though. Indeed. So because I couldn't put it on the, I, I, I couldn't put it on the on the mount because I don't think it counts as a thing he wields. Um, he he just has three damage to two three damage swings. No, I love it. So sure. Uh, on uh, yeah, already all out attacked. Um, I could bludgeon him, which I will because I have the command points and it's at the bottom of the turn. So yeah, um, extra rend on threes. Yes, nicely done. Is it a netherite weapon? Um, technically, that was a six, you wasn't did. it? You did. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Um, so then on threes, has two wounds, minus two. Oh, ooh, I got, don't get a rend on that. That's six damage then. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> sure. One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. But bonk. Dead bunk. He's just murdering rats. How dare you murder all my rats? Wow, that, that, uh, that rat unit took an absolute whooping. <laughs> Well, hold on. That's not it. Uh, I am afraid. So first thing, I was uh, I was so eager. I forgot that this turn he did cast two spells successfully. Mm -hmm. So because of his artifact, he would have gained first up two extra attacks on this attack. Nice. And then his chair gets to attack after that. Nice. So I'll just do two more swings with his staff. Uh, that's one hit. Nice. And let's see if it wounds or if the dice corrected. No, the dice corrected. Okay. Very cool. And then you've got his chair that I also fights me as well. So his chair, his chair kicks you, or tries to anyway. This will not benefit from Naderite. So that's four hits. Well, nicely done. Good. 
And then threes to wound as well. And what's the rend on these? Minus two as well. What? One damage? Yeah, one damage. Oh, yeah, you killed two more rats. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> the poor rat. Look at it. I have a pile of dead rats in the corner over here. Well, you were had to pile in to fight me, so... Indeed. Oh, hold on one second. And luckily enough, there are seven, eight, nine, ten models within six inches, so I can move my oh. big, my big thing. <laughs> <laughs> cluckety, cluckety, cluckety. Rawr. Well. <laughs> yeah, let's fight. So on a two plus, you're gonna take a bunch of mortal wounds. Yeah, so D3 plus four, you take uh, five mortal wounds. Okay, I'm guessing this is very much into the mortis then, right? Uh, everything yeah. into the mortis. So then. on a two up, the uh, immortus guard do not uh, allow that. <laughs> yep, okay, sure. So, so he takes three, and then the other guy has taken two. Yeah, has taken two. Okay. Damn it. The warp oh, stone. We, we made a mistake. Okay, so the f the rusty spikes in D3 from the thing, they have the exact same stats. So eight little attacks from him. Uh, goes on threes and threes for these. So threes. Aha! Oh. And th <laughs> threes. Nice. Take seven. No rent. These have zero rent. Oh, no, that's a lie. The rusty spikes technically had minus one. Wah, wah, wah. All right. But that's okay. Two, two of them don't have minus one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Um, we'll like, just do two three-ups then. Uh, I don't know why I did takes that. Takes one. That's one. And then with the rent. So that's five more. Uh, no, these don't have rent. These had rent. Oh. And then these okay. don't. So well, you just take two. Didn't matter. The kid. Yeah. Take two. So pass them off because there's nothing that you can say otherwise. Indeed. He, is, um... he has taken four. And now comes the Foated Blades, which are going to be one of the amazingly amazing uh, corrupted weapons. So hitting on threes. Ooh. And then wounding on fours, but sixes become Ren 3, six damage. So that's <laughs> we have one. Ren 3, six damage. Right. And, uh, and rend nothing. <laughs> so, I don't, so, okay. Um, I allocate... You can allocate them however you want, because I didn't roll them one at a time. So you can pick. Okay. Yes. Well, then I'll take the six the big one, one first. Yeah. Yes. So on a six, it'll save it. Yep. No. Okay. okay. So he takes so, six damage. Yeah, the Immortus Guard now passes off six. Uh, so now six rolls to pass off the damage to the Immortus Guard. Is it a maximum of one that he can take, though? Because he has one left. And then he dies. So one damage at a time, of course, he has one wound remaining. He does, he does go down, All right. and now feel no pains for your character. Uh, six up more then, yeah, I guess so. He takes five, <laughs> and then okay, he has sure. one more save at no rent. Well, this could be the end of him already. So, on a three. He's okay, he lives with one wound remaining. <laughs> <laughs> and too bad I don't have the additional um, I don't do the additional mortal wounds at the end of combat, because that would be so cool. Well, what a bloodbath of a turn. A lot of stuff died. I am immune to uh, bravery over here. Oh no, I'm not, in, I'm not immune over here anymore. Uh -oh, oh no. Because I moved out to pile in and fight you, and okay. now... <laughs> I'm gonna pay for it! No, he got too eager! Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> Okay, so I lost 10 rats over here. So they're bravery like five. So that's minus five, that's 14 minus five. So nine more rats are gonna die. I'm gonna make sure they're from the middle of the pack so I don't lose <laughs> the objectives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then at the end of the bravery test, D3 of them come back. Nice. One, two, three. Excellent. So I will have lost six little rats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rawr. Okay, that's 16 rats from that big unit. And then D3 come back from there. For two little rats come back. Yeah. <laughs> ah, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> and with that, it is the end of the turn. So I hold one, two, three, four, and you do hold two. So you don't hold more, but you did get your battle tactic. So we are four points. It's 13 to 15, as, oh, 14. 13 to 14 as we move into battle round number four. Before he gets to fight you too. Rawr, 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 rawr. You worry, please. He hits one. He doesn't wound. Okay. And then he runs away. Ah, me. So you successfully get your battle tactic. Okay. So we have another initiative roll. Will the Skaven hold on to the initiative or will 
The Ozyok Bone Reapers steal the initiative away from the rodents at the turn of the tide. Oh, that's going to be a oh. tough one for you. I will strategically uh, choose to roll a six now. <laughs> will As you now? I, I'll will... spend a command point. Roll oh, a six. yes. And? Oh. No, okay, no. So the rats <laughs> will hold on to the initiative as we move into turn number four. Battle tactic will be to kill your general this turn. Yes, let's go. Battle tactic, sure. slay the warlord. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do spells and stuff. Uh, do you want to hide anyone? I don't have any shooting anymore, but um, you can if you would like. Sure, he will hide himself because he's the only thing in range. So <laughs> if you were to shoot him, yeah. you couldn't. I mean, I have to get him now within nine. Great. Good thing yeah. his gun is nine inch range. <laughs> um, awesome. So with that, uh, grand strategy or sorry, heroic action. I'm going to go ahead and do a command point, I think, on him. Mm -hmm. Do I want to do that? Yeah, come on point. He finally does a rousing speech. He's very excited about this. You got to get two and one on him. And do you want to do a heroic action as well? Um, yes, I mean, the only choice I still have because I can recover because I'm in combat is um, an inspiring speech. I mean, can, he, he should be pretty, um, well, eager to kind of, <laughs> he's gonna get a precarious spot. So let's see on a four. Hey! Nicely done. Just he does easy. finally as he's, these are my last words. <laughs> he needed to reach combat to get the, the non-existent blood pumping, yeah. <laughs> to, get, to get the inspiration down, which is awesome. Okay, we got some spells. So he's going to go ahead and I think he's going to eat one of the warp tokens to do super, super lightning or whatever. We'll do prayers first. Uh, we'll start with him. He has the uh, plus one to wound, uh, sorry, plus one attack prayer. So he's going to go ahead and do it. He gets plus three to this. Um, I think a natural one automatically fails. Is it? Does um, it? I don't know. There is a part of, that is a part of the core rules, yeah. That just so he's gonna take a mortal, five up ward save. Oh, he's fine. Okay, well, at least he doesn't take damage. Then we're gonna go ahead with him. He's gonna go ahead and do the plus one to wound one. Mm -hmm. So plus one to wound, he does. So he's gonna put it on this guy. Yeah, he'll put it on him. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and go for the disease, disease, I think. Yeah, disease, disease. Oh, uh, what did that? Do you wish roll? you? Yeah, that was a five. So yeah, you okay. Wish you so be, I, and I will get a grand plague. plague. Absolutely, I will. <laughs> Absolutely, one hundred percent, lutely. I'm gonna go ahead and enact the Crimson Wheel curse. Um, so I pick the closest model or unit, which happens to be your character, and he takes a mortal wound. And at the start of every turn, he will take a mortal wound for the rest of the game. So he takes a mortal wound now? Yep, so he takes All a mortal, right. and at the start well, of every turn, he takes a mortal. He could just fall over now. That's right. Will he die to the curse of uh, the Crimson says, Wheel? Yes. Yep, okay. He does go down. Ah, he falls over as the curse takes him. And then that would be the plus one attack um, one guy. So he just put plus one attack on them, I think. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and do his prayer. He's gonna try to do mortal wounds to those dudes over there. And it does go off. And it's for, I roll for every model in unit. On fives, you take mortal wounds. So you will take two mortal wounds on that unit. Gotcha. You've taken one already, so I could potentially kill another one of these horsies. Yes. Ooh, very nice. So I'm going to augment my Warp Lightning with the Accumulator. So I have to try cast it first. It is cast, which is important because if I fail to cast or you unbind it, he takes damage. <laughs> I see. But the unit within Thanks. 13 takes D6 Mortal Wounds instead of D3. Mm -hmm. Warp Lightning says, <laughs> six Mortal Wounds, Rah, Warp Lightning. By the way, little historical note. My brother and I used to play fantasy way back in the day and he played Skaven and I played Tomb Kings and every time he ran a bunch of these warp lightning dudes and would like annihilate my army with warp lightning I see so, so his take that undead history makes this battlefield conductive very conductive <laughs> for warp warp lightning in general yeah look there's a lightning storm there he's shooting lightning the cannons were doing crazy stuff there's something about there. this forest something about yeah never go here it's just <laughs> it's just superconductors everywhere so yeah that's just six on sixes okay that's um, another five wounds. cool awesome so one had taken uh no you yeah one more goes down and then one has taken two damage from that as well. Zap. Well, that's it for spells. I do have the teleporty spell. 
I'm gonna go ahead and cast the teleporty spell, I guess, on someone. It'll go from the warp engineer and it doesn't go off. I don't think he's within uh, six inches of this. No, he's just out of, the, of there. And now we go into the movement phase. Okay, let's go ahead and do some movements. Okay, so the rats at the end of the rat swarm is going. I love how it's just like annoying enough that it's just there, but it's not enough to like get people to really want to like do damage to it. Um, okay, so rats, rats. Ooh, two more, two mortal wounds into your guys over here. Yes. Go, go gadget rats. So now on sixes, one more. Nice. Oh, they're counting, we're counting down on them. So how many has he taken? So he, he, he is at three, he's at half now. So he has taken three. He has taken three. He started okay. with six. Perfect. I move these plague monks up or sensor bears. You are gonna redeploy them. Smart yes. move, because I'm them. going to try and make that charge. That's a four. Oh, that's gonna make it almost impossible for me to get to them. So they're just gonna shimmy around. Nope, we do not. That's your battle them. tactic if you, or grand strategy is to keep your- uh, The Mortic Guard alive, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I did forget to mention I had wreathed him in shadow. However, um, <laughs> he uh, still needs 10 models around him to move, which is funny. So he's like a little <laughs> frozen in carbonite, like yeah, little, just a, a little grab thing. They have to like nudge along because they have no propulsion of its own. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so with that, let's go into the shooting phase. I do have one pistol. Oh, pistol, go warp pistol. Okay, three little shots, threes to hit. Threes to wound. Ah. I was talking about how awesome it was. They had Ren too. Well, didn't do anything. Sucks to be me then. Okay, let's do some charges. We'll do these plague priests into them. Seven. Nice. <laughs> there they go. They're gonna come fight. They're gonna come fight. Let's go murder some little horses. He's gonna dry jump in as well. Oh, look at that. He wants to, he wants to get his warp blade all juiced up. Plague Sensor Bearer coming into this catapult that killed the Gracier. <laughs> the mighty Gracier felled by a little catapult of doom. <laughs> and then they're gonna, they're gonna try jump in as well, the clan rats. That's a plus one, that's a nine, 10. I'm gonna go ahead and charge with them too. Yeah, let's go for whatever. There. <laughs> Let's see what they do. They will counterattack. Yeah, just, cause, just yeah, to just make cause, just... sure they will die with two <laughs> wounds. <laughs> will they now? You are. You think you will? I Minus mean. one to wound on them will counteract your plus wound. So that's going to be interesting. So with that, we got combat. You will get to fight over here first, which is fine. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I'm not really too worried about your catapult. So I'm going to go ahead and fight over here. Here we go, plague sensor bearers. So they're going to pile in. Uh, I'm gonna spend an all-out attack from my general that's really close. Okay, so four attacks each because they charged. One, two, that's 20 attacks. Mm -hmm. All-out defense them? Indeed, Re just regular defense. I think that's slightly better with your two damage than the close ranks, so yeah. Okay, one, two, three, yes, because you need to stop the damage from going through rather than... Okay, so all-out attack hitting on twos. And then because they charge, they get plus one to wound as well. So they are wounding on twos because they are crazy. I love these little units. They do so much damage in a small package. Because they're rats! Rats! Cool. So that's 13 saves. And what's their save normally? Normally fours. So to threes, back to fours. There you go. Fours with two damage each. Yep. Ooh, decent. Ah, well, 50 okay. okay. That was not terrible. No, 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 no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage. Here, just add three to these. There you have it. Six up wards here. Yep, six up wards. Okay, you have, hoping for at least one six, alive. You have nine wounds remaining in that unit. Yes. Okay. And so it's not likely, but we'll see. Six ups, close, but no cigar. So that will do 12 damage to the unit, and the plague sensor bearers just... So after this combat, it is your turn to fight. I'm assuming you want to fight with your yes. horses over here. It will be the Death Rider. Excellent. Uh, who are they attacking? So, um, because of ranges, we have one horse being within one inch of uh, the plague sensor bearers, and then mm -hmm. two of the spears. And then the rest is gonna be gonna go into the clan reds. In Very cool. So plague sensor bearers, minus one to be wounded. Okay. Um, and and that, that's fine. I'm not gonna spend any CP on them at all. 
The question is, do I go so into the plague sensor bears? Yep. Deciding not to do anything offensively, just because I will not kill enough clan rats to make a difference in this case. So, um, this is the horse into the sensor bears on a three. Okay. One hit, minus one to be wounded. So on a five then. Nope. Nothing there. And then we have two spears, so three attacks each on fours and fives now. Three, fours, uh, no sixes, unfortunately. And then fives to wound because they're stinky. They are very stinky. Uh, that's one. One at rend one? Yep. Goes through, one damage. Indeed. Down to one remaining. And then a bunch of attacks into the clan rats as well. So two horses into the clan rats on threes. All right. And fours. No rend on these. Nope. Five ups. One little clan rat goes down. Ah, clan rat dead. And then uh, one spear, but the Hecato, this is the Hecato, so it's four attacks. Nice. Uh, on fours. Uh, no six is still. And on fours. Three uh, at minus one. Okay, six ups. You kill three more little rats. Dead. My attacks now. I'll go ahead and do my big plague furnace. Yeah, let's go ahead. Yes. Go plague furnace! Two plus. Yep, you take uh, five mortal wounds. All right, let's see how resilient bone shaping can uh, withstand that. Uh, not at all. Not today. Then I'm going to do the big, uh, the big plague attacks, which have my um, hits on fours, so nothing. Oh. Sorry, wounds on fours, I think. Hold on. Is sorry. it threes? Yes, it wounds on fours, but sixes become six damage AP three. No. So two at AP zero. Okay, then four ups then. Uh, nothing. Sure, one damage each. Oh, six. <laughs> six is. Four, no. Two more. He's not resilient he has, at all. Uh, he's taken seven. He has what? One left? His armor. Now the rusty spikes. Threes to hit. And threes to wound. These are rend one. So it's three at rend one from the rusty spikes. Good. So that's on fives then. Okay. Two more. Just one damage each. All right. So wards. No. Nope. Cool. And then D3. So two from his staff. One hit. No wounds. And that's all he got. 12. Nine uh, out of 12, eh? Uh, he saved nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, You're, you get to fight me back. The, oh, they will so pummel you back with their tools. I love it. The, the clamors are going to take the shovel, uh, get the shovel. I will all out defend them. Okay. <laughs> I can't do anything, unfortunately, so. <laughs> get shovel, threes. Oh, no, dang it. <laughs> I love it. The shovels, get the shovels. Come on, big hammer, swing, fours. One. one. Four, four up. Ah, oh, you got one. Hey, he tried. He tried to stay alive. Hey, now you've done everything, so they're just going to pile in over here. Yeah, let's yeah. go, let's go. Do, 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 do. I think I just get one guy that might not be able to fight. Uh, they don't have any bonuses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the little commander rat. So fours and fours. Just one at no rent. So on a four. Yes. That's okay. Nice. He saved something. And then we have these rats. Okay, rats. So I'm going to go ahead and do the warp, uh, the engineer. He's going to may soup up his, uh, his, his blade. Mm -hmm. So it becomes D6 attacks instead of D3 attacks. And All defense. I'll spend a, I'll spend a, a, a command point. Oh, and I already all out attacked. So I can't anymore. He takes all oh, five attacks. But for every unmodified one to hit, he'll take D3 mortal wounds. Oh boy. Will he just blow up? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. He has to hit He hits on fours though. Okay, a little, little rat. Oh, he takes Ooh. two D3 oh, no. mortal wounds. And dies. <laughs> he kills himself. <laughs> it's a three plus to wound. That's one at oh, yeah. rend one. All right, so uh, back to fours then with yep. plus one minus one. Yep. Let's see if DVD. Ah, oh, boo. Okay. It's only one damage. Why would I ever want to do that ever again? Okay, he, he killed himself. Good, good oh, well. job. So we have 20 attack, well, 20 rats, and they do have the plus one attack. And uh, no, sorry, they have plus one to wound. They don't have plus one attack. Because I did fail that with him. He, right, he, yeah. he literally failed it. Um, okay. <clears throat> so four to hit. Nice. Oh, you won for the sergeant, sorry. And needing threes to wound. So three, five in total. Nothing crazy, just five of them. No rend. All right, so they're three up with their defense. Mm -hmm. uh, it mattered once. 
Okay. Uh, barely. <laughs> like, ugh. And <laughs> okay. uh, wards. Yep, just six up now. Cool. So one dies and one takes two damage. Yes. Only three of my Plague Sensor Bears can get into fight here. They don't get plus one to wound uh, because I totally misplayed that over here. You can count and tell me how many twos I roll to wound. Um, but uh, it's late and we're not going back. Okay. Um, threes to hit. And threes to wound. Okay. So that would be one, two, three, eight at rend one. And two damage each from the Plague Sensor Bearers. So, back in on fours here, otherwise they're toast. Mm -hmm. Or charred bone in this case. Charred bone, or more plaguey bones. So six damage. Okay, so five ups could kill the whole unit, but they might survive. Well, um... Because you have three, four wounds left in that unit. Right, but it's not, yeah, well... No, and, they're two. Okay, so they did go down as the Plague Sensor Bearers take them out. And with that, it is the end of Skaven, turn number four. Um, I do get D3 clan rats over here back for three, and I get D3 clan rats over here back for, actually they, they lost one clan, no, they lost five. I'm gonna spend a command point to auto pass them to heroic bravery, and they get one back too. Three, <laughs> There's rats everywhere. They're coming out of the woodwork. Uh, okay, so that's it. I will get five points for my battle tactic and for holding more objectives than you as we move on to your turn, number four. Well, you've got a catapult and a unit of bone reapers. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's... Uh, sorry, my hero phase, my rats will have to move as well. Okay, cool. Actually, the rats are now um, unleashed because they're predatory. So it means oh. you'll get to move the rats hmm. because I had, there are no wizards left anymore. Interesting. So that might be... <laughs> that would be hilarious. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, um, cool. Which is the double objective? Let's roll to see which uh, one it is. One, two, three. Then yep. one, two, three. We didn't roll on my six. So it would oh, be this, this one. one over here. Interesting. I'm actually going to go ahead at the start of the hero phase. Uh, his command is going to be Wreath and Shadow. Going to make him fly around. I'm also going to go ahead and use a, a priest. They can dispel endless spells. So I'm going to try and dispel the rats. All right. And I do. Bye bye rats. You, you've been fun, but I don't want you eating my plague priests. <laughs> and here come the bone reapers. Here yep. they come. Uh, movement is just going to be them uh, moving up to yep. the plague priests and getting so like somewhere around there. I'm going to spend the command points to for them to move Seven. three more. I yep. like it. Save it. Two just ready. getting right up. And I'm going to spend one of my command points to redeploy them from my totem. Yes. There. Actually, let's see if it's free. On a four plus, it's free. It is, because that'll be an inspired leadership. Um, and they are going to redeploy two inches. So we'll just make it a little bit longer of a charge. Yep. Nice. That's out there. Uh, the catapult will fall back. He will? Cool. Yep. Where is it going? Just back here. Like this. Uh, move yeah. four inches or whatever. Just four. No, actually place it right here. So basically move to the side, so it was like right there. Well, I mean, it doesn't have much to move. Yeah, move, it has to move. get outside of three to get outside of my right. engagement range. So the ledge could fight. basically put it like right there in this, in, in essence. Yeah, like so you'd have there. to go something like that. Yeah. Just to get outside of three. Exactly. Inches. Good, so he's ah, running away. Nice, I like it. We forgot the punishment. Yeah, we're just going to do, because it's... Roll a four up and then pick something. Exactly. Okay, so you can do something. It's... Minus one to hit, mortal wounds. No, nah, it's it's gonna be the just for fun. It's he'll he'll now chant one worse, so okay. he'll add minus one on his chance. Okie dokie. He's now chanting worse on his prayers. Okay, makes sense. Uh, end of the movement phase. They moved. And they moved. Now um, they're gonna use renewed constructs and get D three back. I like it. One comes back. Nice. That makes the charge closer. Actually, they ju they use the plus three moves, so they cannot use renet constructs because yeah, right. they're already under the effects of a command. So now we move into the shooting phase. Nothing. Charge phase. Both they get plus charge. one to this. Oh, because yep. you can fall back and charge. Yeah, Indeed. that's right. Yep. Because you're a bone reaper. Right. So yeah, uh, they're gonna charge first. I like it. So that's uh, enough. Ooh, they make it. Look at that. Let's just start with this guy. Here they come. Arr. Poor plague priests. I wonder if I can, oh well, I'll figure it out. No, because. 
coherency wise. Yeah. yeah. You want to charge with this too? I kind of do. Okay. I kind of. Well, you do. already hold that one, so you don't have to worry about it. That's true, I guess. Yeah. All right. Head over here. Yes. Let's see what he gets. I see just, how far he goes. Yeah, basically I spent the command point on unflinching coordination. He uh, can't spend a command point. Oh, true. Well, then he can charge then. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> he, there's, no, there's nobody here to lead him into battle. He has, he has the crew's like a but, little... But look at him. He's like ah, looking out. He's, he's pointing. Like pointing. He's pointing. <laughs> not today he's not. Do you want to stay in combat then? I mean, kind of, to be honest. Okay, yeah, it's fine. He's just... Look. No, absolutely. Okay, you get to pick one to fight. Yeah. I mean, that's obvious. <laughs> nice. In this case. Awesome. Uh, and you do have command points to use on stuff? Yes. So I'm going to wait to see what you use, and then maybe use a command point on my end. Since they have rend already on their weapons... Um, they have rend one? Yeah. They have... They're just, they're just going to all that attack on their Nice. So I will all out defense to give myself back my six up save. So, Soul Cleaver Great Blade right here. It's two attacks on twos and fours. Okay. Are they minus one to wound or anything? Minus one to wound. All right, so then fives. That's one. This one's X-ray P though, right? No, this one is two damage. Oh, okay. okay. So six up. Nope, you kill one of them. Blah. Yeah, so eight guys, including the Hecatos. Actually, seven guys, including the Hecatos, because one already swung. So, uh, on twos now, and then fives. Nice. Sixes explode. One yep. extra exploding. And then moving on. Fives, because you mm. are very, very smelly, pestilentially <laughs> infused rats. <laughs> we are smelly rats. Two. Two. Okay, two. Six ups. Nope, you kill one more. Blah. Nice. Well, they held up. I wasn't expecting them to live, but you live and you learn as a rat is just usually how that works. So we're going to go ahead and fight with... Um, yeah, we'll fight with the set, plague set. Let's just fight with the big guy. Why not? Uh, he's going to do five mortal wounds to you again. Will that just finish him off? I don't know. Looks like it's so close. What? Nine? 10, 11? Oh, he's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's dead! Ha! <laughs> Take that, scatapult. Good old catapult time. And then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and use my Plague Sensor Bearers. One, two, three Plague Sensor Bearers. Threes and threes at Rend one. Threes to hit. And threes to wound. That is five at Rend one. So five, five up saves then. Ooh, oh, wow. beautiful. Two damage each. Banking on sixes. So and four nope. of them will go down. And then I do owe you a bravery. So they lost two, I think they're bravery five. Ah, they hold! Oh, they hold, nice. Nicely done, rats, nicely done! <laughs> At the end, you will, I think you hold this one, because you have four to my, like, two. So you do hold two. Yeah, because I only have two to your four, um, even if they were all in there. So you hold two, and what was your battle tactic? Oh, I'll try and kill them. Yeah, try and kill yeah. them, which I did. So that did not happen. So you do get two points. So now it seems like the points are finally running away from the Oziark Bone Reapers. Yes. But with that, I do get D3 clan rats over here. One. And D3 clan rats over here. One. The little clan rats keep on coming. <laughs> and we move on to battle round number five. And with that, I believe... Well, um, this Hecato's over here. Um, facing those sensor bears, he took a moment, like a split, like a split second before his skull was caved in, to think. <laughs> mm, <laughs> should I remain here and hold the line with nothing, or um, should I at least uh, offer some sort of? No, we can't talk about efficiency anymore anyway. <laughs> yeah, like we must retreat, yes. go back to the uh, to headquarters and relay what has happened in the forest. As with that, we're going to call it game. And the yes. Skaven have held the forest. <laughs> awesome. Great game. We'll be back with a little after action report. Welcome to the post game. Oh, buddy, what a crazy game. It was back and forth. There was, I mean, yeah, um, <laughs> there was basically, um, there was a, like, a, a, cha a, a turning point in the middle of the game, for sure, but there, there, there was some really goofy stuff going on. Like, um, you teleporting around a bunch, like, the Grazier was just mad into Skitterleaf and teleporting generally, like, twice a 
yeah, th there was some, <laughs> there was a changing point in the middle of the game, but there was some really goofy stuff going on, right? I mean, uh, we had the, the, the Grace here who was addicted to teleporting uh, multiple times a turn, uh, sometimes. <laughs> and then the, the, uh, the, the Death Riders unwillingly teleporting and then charging into a completely different flank. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe they didn't even realize. Maybe they just thought, huh, maybe they just thought they're having deja vu or something. They, clan rest there, clan rest there. You know what's the difference? <laughs> oh man, I totally agree. Um, my favorite moment of the match was when your catapult teleported and then just <laughs> killed my grace here with a single shot. And I will say, one of the things that I really, really liked were the warp lightning cannons. Because I did have a Warp Lightning Cannon that essentially rolled max twice, which was crazy. Skaven brilliance at its finest. Like, as, uh, Warp Lightning Cannons, how were they? They were intended to work. Just pure 12 mortal wounds with no uh, sort of <laughs> repercussion at all. No, that was mad. Well, thanks a lot for coming in for this battle report. It was really fun. And good travels back to Munich, where you came all the way down from. The Skaven have successfully defended against the Oziark Bone Reapers from the Death Alliance, defending the Forgotten Forest and taking it for the Chaos Forces. And that's all. Thanks a lot for coming in. And if you want to come and play a game with us, make sure you go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge to line up a game to come and play in the campaign and mold the story with us and without further ado happy wargaming everybody of course i'm scary i do have a personal youtube channel as well that is um linked down below so if you'd like to check me out do i'm on a quest to get a hundred thousand subscribers if you want to help that goal come true then head on over give me a Cool little sub. Check out some cool 40k content and other stuff that I do on there as well. And you are all amazing. Also, Down for Scary and Cringe Lord Supreme out. Happy work gaming, everyone. And paired with this Lost City game, you better believe we got more Age of Sigmar content following in the vault. Available to our YouTube and our vault members. If you're at one, all you have to do is click on the link down below to sign up for a seven day free trial where you'll have access to it as well as the rest of the content we have in the vault, including all of our other Age of Sigmar content. And you know, 40K, Heresy, you name it, we got it in there. And after seven days, if you don't want to stick around, well, you do not have to. Thanks again for watching everyone. Enjoy the post game and I will catch you next time very soon.